to visit the jewellery maker's shop. Book your place now. For more information, contact the call centre on 0800 644 655. If you're new to Jewellery Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and get started booklet all free of charge. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Join Karen Crawford on a new DVD to Jewelry Maker, Talk Necklace Projects. You'll learn lovely talk necklace designs, such as the freeform talk necklace, colour grading, how to add gemstones, the Aztec weave and how to add embellishments. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. along every morning I do that <laughs> you like it Black Friday <laughs> continued <laughs> on this lovely, bright, sunny Saturday. Maybe in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the Caribbean, certainly not here in Redditch. It's certainly not bright and sunny here, is it? Not in Redditch, no, it's no. not. It's a bit miserable. It's a bit miserable, isn't it's, it? It's just a bit. How are you, lovely Linda? I'm just the opposite of miserable. I'm, I'm quite happy. You're on fighting form today, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I've got over my bug. My bug has left the building. Ah, oh, get rid of that bug. I'm going to wash that bug right out of my head. <laughs> Name that musical. South Pacific. Well done! And another one is... Valley High, may call you. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, do you know that was filmed in Ibiza? Was it really? Apparently, yeah. So it wasn't filmed oh, in the South Pacific? No, part of it. Apparently it was filmed in Ibiza. Certainly in the Balearics. There you go. Mm. The Balearics. Uh, fantastic. How are you today? on this gorgeous um, Saturday. Do you know what? Black Friday. I tell you what, I'm, 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 if you were watching the show yesterday, good on you because all those crazy, crazy people who were at the shops yesterday. Honestly, I was watching some of the videos today. People fighting over TVs. <laughs> It's worrying, isn't it? And onion rings, apparently. Onion rings. Yeah, that was really funny, that clip. These are my onion rings. <laughs> um, anyway, right. <laughs> that was really funny. How are you? Are you good? Are you good? Good. We've got Linda with us today, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, <laughs> she should Sorry be okay. Sorry about that. She, oh, she should be all right. I know, she's lovely. Two amazing kits, an amazing boutique. I reckon some of the, these are some of the best kits we've ever had on JM. They're absolutely beautiful. The designs are awesome. The gemstones are brilliant. It's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pleased with them. Good. Very. Good, 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 good. We've got the lovely Kerry with us on cameras. How are you doing, Kerry? She's good. Are you looking forward to the 1st of December? Yeah, because then it's the beginning of Christmas already, isn't it? Uh, Dion, thank you very much. This is Dion. 
producing today. I tell you what, she is just give it to me, give it to me, no, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. So much. I know, yeah, but fine. Dion. Who's here? Hello. And Ollie, who is, um, um, he's not producing, he's directing. Um, you've reserved one of these strands. Yes. Ollie has reserved one of these strands. I'm thinking I should as well. This strand of opal is the best strand of opal I have ever, shut that door, <laughs> ever seen in my life. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, isn't it pretty? No, really, 10 a.m. Coming up at 10 a.m. today, um, there are only 40 chances available. Look at the quality. Genuine, natural Ethiopian opal. I think it's the best example we have ever, 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 ever had on Joey Maker. Absolutely incredible. This is going to be coming your way at about 10 a.m. this morning. There's only 40 chances. We've also got the gorgeous Cassandra with us this morning. Hi, Kathy. Come on, Cass. I know your hair's not down, but can you give us a bit of a hair flick anyway? Here she is, here she is, she's coming everyone. Here she is! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> there she is. Gorgeous, right, okay, Black Friday continued. Um, so basically, you, you, you're gonna see some absolutely amazing deals on today's show. And um, today's deals, um, a lot of them are kind of stash deals. So the kind of deals that you wanna add to your order. Um, you, we've got awesome pink bundles, we've got orangey ones, we've got um, chocolatey colored ones, we've got peach moonstones, we've got seed beads, we've got tons and tons and tons of findings um and we've got loads and loads and loads of gorgeous um um uh, brand new things as well have a look at these these are coming your way really really shortly brand new silver plated copper fully adjustable ring mounts aren't they just gorgeous you're going to be getting a pack of five of these they're going to be coming your way a little bit later on in today's show We've got head pins, we've got eye pins, we've got crimpy covers, we've got clamshell covers, we've got uh, pendant uh, findings, bell making pliers, we've got earring findings, lobster claw clasps, decorative jump rings, we've got uh, mounts um, uh, for bales. We've got loads. Should we get started? Where is it? Oh no. Yeah, number one. Here we go. So, starting off with some findings today. Rose gold plated copper essential finding pack. There might be one, more than one early bird today. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, fantastic. Okay, so there he is, Robin Downey Jr. Oh, I love him. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Missing the A and the Z. Just to say, it's a bit like Countdown, this, isn't it? Countdown? Is it Countdown that has missing letters? Or is it Blockbuster? I love a pee, please, Bob. <laughs> Who was it, Bob? It wasn't Bob Holness, was it? Yeah. Was it Bob Holness? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was Bob Holness. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Blockbuster. Apparently, Ollie Sloan to fame is someone who used to live opposite him uh, <laughs> went on Countdown. Uh, blockbuster, even. There you go. Good claim to fame, everyone. Right, okay, so, rose gold, pla rose, rose, rose gold plated copper findings. Here we go. So you're going to be getting 118 findings here. It's so important to have findings for your stash. It's so, 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 so important to have findings in your stash. Just as any as any jewellery maker will tell you it's important to have genuine gemstones in your stash it's equally just as important if not more important to have uh, findings in your stash as well why well when you come to make those pieces of jewellery it's so frustrating when you get to the end of that piece of jewellery and you miss out on a crimp bead you know you haven't got a crimp bead to finish that bracelet or neckline piece off with and um, nine out of ten times you'll think oh do you know what? i'll get some more crimp beads from jewellery maker and i'll finish that piece of jewellery off how often do you actually end up finishing that piece of jewellery off very, very, very few people actually do end up doing that. I've got loads of pieces of jewellery um, in my jewellery making uh, box at home that I've literally just put a bit of sellotape around the end just because I haven't got a crimp bead to finish it off with. And I've got all the intention of, of, of getting some more crimp beads from jewellery maker. But you never do. It's one of those things. You've got to be in the zone. You've got to be in the zone. This findings pack has got a metre of chain, loads of different varieties of head pins, and the decorative ones are these gorgeous square top head pins right here. Aren't they lovely? You're also going to be getting a toggle clasp. There you go. Connector, like that. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some ribbon ends with uh, extender chain. 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's your S-hook connector on there as well. You're also going to be getting these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, space beads as well. Looking gorgeous. Um, you're going to be getting uh, more earring findings. There's some T-bar clasps. Uh, crimp beads, crimp beads covers. There's loads and loads and loads of findings here. Uh, they're all going to be coming in separate little bags like these. Um, of course, they are um, uh, separated out just so you can um, um, separate out the different elements. If you are having a craft fair or if you're holding some kind of event, um, or if you're going to be having a craft store anywhere this Christmas, why not try having a pot of loads and loads and loads of these findings and selling them 50p each, 50p a bag? Fantastic. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, don't worry about it because you'll be able to use them at a later date. The price points these findings packs normally are... Is it normally, is it normally 7 95 Normally £10.95p for 118 rose gold plated copper findings. Not today! Give us a call when you can. Number 0800 644 655. Free to call from a BT landline. Or get involved on our website on jewelrymaker.com. Loads of you coming through on the web, on the phone lines. It's a good idea to stock up on these kind of things, isn't it, um, uh, Linda? Especially if you're going to be uh, making lots and lots of pieces for craft fairs, uh, for big events that people have going towards Christmas. Well, in, in a sense, really, it's pointless having the components of making jewellery if you haven't got the findings yeah. as, as the component. You know, you just... I, I mean, it was strange. Um, on my previous beginner's workshop, yeah. probably 50% of them were really quite... Um, completely and utterly in awe of the fact that what that little crimp bead did. Um, they they sort of um, made bits of jewellery in the past, perhaps with the elast elastic and things, so consequently if ever they'd used beading thread, they'd knotted it. Yeah, that's near the class, Knotted the class bomb. Yeah. And of course when they see a crimp bead and how that works and what it's for, they think, well, you know, it's a light bulb moment. It's life changing. Yeah. Absolutely life changing. Well, it is, isn't it? Yes. When you when you see these findings in action, I have to admit, when I first picked up a jewelry making kit, which is about seven years ago now, um, I hadn't got a clue what the crimp beads were for. No idea at all. Seeing them in action, seeing how useful they actually are, yeah, you really do learn to appreciate them. Um, free with your first order. If you're brand new to jewelry maker today, uh, free with your first order, you're going to get a number of different things, including this uh, get started with jewelry maker booklet. Inside this booklet, there's a whole section on findings and what they're used for, what crimp beads are used for. Uh, crimp beads are most commonly used to finish off beaded pieces of jewellery, such as a necklace or a bracelet. The thread runs through the crimp bead and then returns back on, uh, back on it, forming a loop. You can attach a clasp, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's loads of information on all of your findings. So if you're in doubt about what any of these findings do in this pack, um, you should have, you should have all of your questions answered in this um, section here. There's also tutorials at the back of here. Don't forget, oh, this is all free with your first order. Lovely booklet, this one. Uh, some uh, tutorials at the back of here. You also get a Get Started with Jewelry Maker DVD, which is around about an hour long, with our lovely Linda on it. Mm. Hey, that was done a while ago, wasn't it? Sure it was, when I was a young whippet of a thing. A young whippersnapper. Mm. Uh, so an hour long DVD. Uh, you also get the, a copy of the Jeremy Hub magazine with lots of information about current launches and new products which are going to be arriving over the next month or so. Okay, so all of this is free with your first order. Um, all of this is free with your first order. If you're going to be buying anything as a gift today for somebody who hasn't shopped with Jewelry Maker before, you can request one of these and we'll send you one of these in your order as well. So, fantastic. Um, do, do, do multi-buy deals like this. It's really important that you have enough findings. There's nothing more frustrating than missing out on a piece of jewellery um, because you haven't got the findings. Okay, uh, Pat in Menorca says, uh, I give it a pee, Bob. Uh, <laughs> I give it a pee, Bob, came to our school in about 1963. Are you kidding me? Morning, thanks for a cheery start to my day, kiss. <laughs> right back at you there, Pat. Mark in Nottinghamshire says, uh, uh, says, I have the blockbuster theme as my ringtone. I almost thought my phone was ringing then. Oh, did you? <laughs> Do you like that? It's lovely. Hey? It's lovely. Really nice. You're not taking the Michael anime, no, are you? No, 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 no. It's, it's really lovely. <laughs> You know all those shops at the minute that are doing these Black Friday thingies, you know, and they give you a 30-day money-back guarantee? 
We laugh in the face of that. <laughs> it's not a 30-day money-back guarantee, is it, Linda? No, it's not. It's right up to end of January. It is! Yeah. Until the 31st of January next year. It's amazing. Jenny Cleary said the other day she doesn't even know she's going to be alive then. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> she will be. She will be. <laughs> she said, Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be alive then. Oh, dear. Oh, honestly, um, she will be. Don't worry. And so will you. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Right, OK. Challenge, Linda. It's another little theme tune there. <laughs> challenge, Linda. So, uh, Linda's challenge today. Absolutely gorgeous gems. One of my all-time favourite gems. Can we just double-check where this is from, please? This should be... <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the real deal. Lapis lazuli, an amazing gemstone. Do you know what? This has been traded in the Middle East since about 4,000 BC. Isn't that amazing? 4,000 BC, that's what? That's over, that's over 6,000 years. I remember it well. Do you? Mm. That's over 6,000 years, Linda. That's absolutely It is astonishing. And considering, isn't it? considering how it's, it started off um probably been ground down for cleopatra's eyeshadows etc yeah. then into sort of jewelry then into paintings to get the right hue of blue that they couldn't get anywhere else yeah. except grinding down the lapis and and then um they, they still use that up. there is a specific date if you date paintings and it's fairly recent yeah if you date paintings after a certain date perhaps somebody can let us know that's when they knew if it was an original whatever they're saying it was it was say uh, you know say it was an original you know renaissance artist yeah yeah yeah. if it predated a certain date and the the blue was ground down lapis then they knew that really? it was original yeah, yeah isn't so. that fascinating it's astonishing how much yes exactly what you can learn from gemstone yeah it really is and you know what um, um um i heard i heard an art critic um um going on about lapis lazuli and how much he loved it and how appreciative he was of it in the art world and you know it's it's very it, it's really weird almost hearing somebody who isn't from a jewelry background talking about yeah. a gemstone with such passion and with such love but for a very different reason to the reason that i love it i mean i love this gemstone um, 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 I love the fact that um, this gemstone is from a location um, in Afghanistan, which is um, two days from the nearest form of civilization. Um, ancient mining methods are still used today to mine this gemstone. Why? Well, it takes two days by foot or by donkey or mule um, to get to these mines. You can't get there by car or by, or by truck just because the roads, well, they're not really roads, it's just, it's just impassable. Um, it, it's mined at altitude as well, so it makes it particularly difficult to mine. Um, so you can't get big heavy machinery up there like the Minas Gerais region of Brazil where you know there are big JCBs used in the mining process. You know it's still very very much on a small scale level. So you've got a two day trek from when this gemstone is mined, and it's totally natural by the way, from where this gemstone is mined to actually getting it to the nearest town. Okay. It's a, um, uh, the great thing about lapis lazuli is it has changed, well the quality you're going to be getting here has changed very little to that original quality. Um, this kind of quality is the same kind of quality um, I like to think that, um, uh, that, that was used in Cleopatra's eyeshadow, that was used to um, uh, ground down to uh, make to, uh, into the paint pigment that painted the Sistine Chapel. You know, the quality you're going to be getting here has changed very, very little. It is entirely, entirely natural. You're going to be getting rectangular lapis lazuli, rice beads of lapis lazuli, and I love these stars of lapis lazuli beautiful stars of lapis lazuli now lapis lazuli is actually made up of three different gemstones um oh why did i say that because i can't remember the third gemstone but it's made up of pyrite calcite and there's another one as well i can't remember what it is i'm so sorry ah! anyway so you've got three uh, kind of qualities that come together to form this incredible genuine gemstone. Now, 
But you'll notice there are silver and golden inclusions running through here as well, which are iron, which are iron and pyrite inclusions. It's beautiful, isn't it? The great thing about lapis, it looks very different um, as to whether you put it with silver, gold or rose gold uh, findings. It looks completely different. If you put it with rose gold, it looks very rich. If you put it with um, uh, yellow gold, I think it looks very Egyptian. If you put it with silver, it can look extremely contemporary. These three strands here, an amazing, amazing price point for you today. £14.95 P for all three strands. Now that's a strand for uh, less than a fiver a strand for a gemstone, for a gemstone that is mined in such an isolated remote location. It's two days on foot from the nearest town. This is why this gemstone is mined on such a small scale level. This is why it's small teams of miners who return year on year on year to this mining location to get this gemstone because, um, um, because it's not done on such a, um, a, a large scale like the Minas Gerais region in Brazil. Um, so it is very, very remote. You're not going to get a big mass mining migration heading towards these kind of mines in Afghanistan just purely because they are so remote. I love it. And it's less than a five a strand for something this precious, for something this special. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. Well done. So luxurious lapis bundle here with lapis lazuli, stars, rectangles and beautiful rice beads as well. All three strands for less than 15 pounds. Now, <clears throat> Linda, what are your thoughts on this? What are you going to do with this? Um, I've got it here now and um, I'm just using <clears throat> the stars at the minute. I found some... The colours are so deep with it's, this. It, it's strands, absolutely beautiful. They? It really mm. is. It, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, the stars are obviously amazing having the the pyrites running through them um and i found the tiniest little strand down here of, of little faceted i think they're two mil pyrites which i'm popping with the stars i'm really enjoying doing it at the moment it's one of those things working with a star shape mm. if you weave a star shape you will get sort of various different overall shapes and that's what i'm doing at the moment um and that's where the the inspiration lays in the gemstone itself mm. yeah Wonderful qualities, absolutely gorgeous. Um, now we've had a text in from uh, Pat who says, uh, please help, it's a 20% off for Black Friday um, for things on the show as well. Right, okay, it's, it's on the website at the moment. You are going to be seeing, uh, you are going to be seeing um, lots and lots of bundles today and strands today and kits today where you're going to be saving a lot more than 20%. Um, this uh, bundle was meant to be over £20 today. So you can see, so, so that's an over, over a 25% reduction in price. If we can, if we can kind of update you as to kind of the percentage off what the price if you bought all these separately then we will do. and you want a natural quality not only a natural quality but you want something that is so unbelievably special because i love the fact linda that this is that this is mined by small teams of miners exactly. in a remote location you know it's not done on a huge massive scale have you ever been to any of the mines uh, the big mines over in brazil or china or no. anywhere like that no no, I haven't. Um, I, I would know, love to. Uh, yeah, so would I. Um, I'd love to go to the Minas Gerais region where some of the world's best amethyst comes from. Um, it is mined in a very, very different way to how these are mined. This is literally mined with, with um, uh, miners, be they men, be they women, whoever they are, literally with pickaxes and, 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 and very, very, very rudimentary tools. The Minas Gerais region, uh, certain mines in China, in India, even in... Um, yeah, not so much in places like Madagascar, but, the, but some of the big, big, big um, uh, world-renowned mines, you know, a lot of these gemstones are mined um, and, and to move the host rock, to move all the non-gemstone quality uh, bits, um, bulldozers, diggers are used, you know, because you have access to that kind of quality over there. Um, this kind of mining um, 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 experience in Afghanistan is very, very different indeed. Very, very different. It makes it a lot more, I don't know, it adds to the charm a little bit more, don't you think? Emmett from Tiny Weir says, Morning ladies, lapis was used for, uh, for the eyebrows on King Tutankhamun's death mask. Yeah, mm. it was kind of, um, it, it's um, uh, set into it, so um, um, set into the, um, the actual mask, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? It is, and, and it has, obviously, um, we've all seen photographs, if not seen, that the, the Tutankhamun oh, exhibitions. Yeah. And just see the longevity of that pigment. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. So you've got a gemstone that was um, set into Tutankhamun's mask. When did he die? 
a while ago now. More than 50 years ago. <laughs> no, I mean, we're talking, we're talking kind of thousands of years ago, aren't we? Really, we're talking BC yeah. oh, years hugely, ago. Possibly hugely. even 4,000 BC. I'm not entirely mm. sure when it was uh, when it was that he died. Um, but yeah, the gemstone looks as mm, vibrant today absolutely. as it did back then. It's amazing. Linda's right, it's got such longevity, this gemstone. It's absolutely beautiful because it's natural. You know, it's not going to fade. It's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to wash off. It's not going to rub off. And you've got a gemstone here, which is just from one of the most remote regions of the entire world. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Loads of people still coming through for this. Well done, everyone. Right. You're going to have loads of fun with this. Are you going to go, are you going to go with silver, yellow gold, rose gold? Or at the minute, um, at the minute, nothing. At the minute, I'm not sure. I'm using, um, I think, a gold beading thread. Mm. So I may, I may mirror the gold. But what strikes me about, about this gemstone, commitment to it do you know what I mean when if it's a bit like chrome dark side you have to be committed to bring this gemstone I see what you're saying don't yeah. you? you know yeah. these guys that go back year in and year out etc mm. there's a and it, unfortunately or fortunately for viewers um fortunately for us the the price doesn't reflect mm. all of that does it mm. you look 14.95 three strands of gem oh that's a good but then when you think about how much passion it's taken yeah. to actually bring it onto the table today. You know, yeah. It's phenomenal, really, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, when you think about the story, where it's from. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right, so Linda's going to have a go with those. Brilliant. Right, where are we going? Now, I'm not implying... <laughs> in... Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm not trying to imply anything. We'll bail you out, don't worry. <gasps> oh, fantastic! I love it! That was brilliant. That actually was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I'm trying to think of another one. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh dear. I can't think of another one. Oh. <laughs> anyway, bail making pliers. These are awesome. Your bail making pliers. Now, I think the name of these is a little bit misleading. Because, of course, you automatically look at these and think, well, I can make bales with them. Absolute poppycock. You can do so much more with these. You can make bells with these, of course. And um, you've got, can you see here? You've got kind of like a graduated step um, on this side of the pliers, which enables you to make 10, seven, and five millimeter bales. Can you use these to make jump rings? Yes. Can you use these to make, um, uh, um, to make S hook connectors? Yeah. If you want to make anything, be it, um, a connector, be it rope style chain, be it jump rings, um, and you want them to have a, a regular a uniform size and shape on them, you can absolutely use these. And of course, they work beautifully with bales. 10, 7, and 5 uh, millimeters in diameter. I haven't seen these ones with the plastic with the plastic coating on. This, this is meant to be on there, isn't it? Yes, it is. So it's to protect your wire, isn't it? I, I've never seen these ones before with the um, with the um, with the plastic uh, protector on it. That's obviously to protect your wire so it doesn't scratch it. So um, so um, so it protects any of your coloured wire as well. Have you used these big bell making pliers at all, yep. Linda? Yep, I use them for what it says on the tin. But mm. what I use them a lot for is um, the uh, figure of eight chain. Oh, lovely! And yes. um, they're really great for that because obviously there's varying. Um, you can actually make sort of half of the eight slightly bigger than, than the base and, and ah. small as well. So that makes it quite nice, actually. Um, it certainly makes a nice job of doing, mm. say, a pendant on a figure of eight chain. Yeah, lovely. Not only, I mean, with these tiny little pyrites I'm working with here, mm. you can actually put those onto your wire and then curl around the, the bell making oh, pliers lovely. as well. So you've got then a beaded chain ready and waiting yeah. to go. I like, I like the thought of using these for your figure, eight, um, uh, figure of eight chains because your figure of eight chains, um, everybody's going to see those links. They become quite a feature. So if they're not uniform, if they're not the same, if they're not all looking absolutely beautiful and professional, it's going to look a little bit rubbishy, to be fair. You know, you want it to look absolutely wonderful, which you absolutely can do with these. You've got 10, 7, and 5 millimeter um, uh, diameters on these. Now, 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 you have 
your extended 30 day money back guarantee until the 31st of January next year. The reason why I'm saying that is I would get these home if I were you and use that, 30, use that extended 30 day money back guarantee to have a look elsewhere and to see what bail making pliers are. There is a reason why uh, I know Rachel Norris uses these bail making pliers. There is a reason why Laura Binding uses pretty much no other bail making pliers other than these. There is a reason why so many of our wire work experts, including Linda, uses these bail making pliers. They're fit for purpose. They're designed beautifully. They're really beautiful and um, um, uh, with that comfort grip. And of course, it's a lot to do with the incredible price point as well. Amazing price point. Give us a call when you can or get involved on our website on jewelrymaker.com. This is your incredible deal today for these five, seven, and 10 millimeter diameter bail making pliers, six pounds 95p. Now, Linda, as you know, we have some amazing tools here on Jewelry Maker. These tools, or this tool, I should say, I'm holding it in my hand, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, that does not look like 6 95 Oh, absolutely all, not, no, absolutely, That's definitely amazing. not. amazing. I was in that store yesterday, you know, the, the big store. And, um, the big store? Yeah, the big store where, you know, ends in craft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, looking at the tools there, and actually, I couldn't find any of those. I can't recall seeing them. But the thing about tools is we can often go through any of our hobbies yeah. and think, oh, I can use that as a mandrel, I can use that as a mandrel, okay, I'll do that. But then when we commit to buy the tool for the job, yeah. we wonder why we've always yeah. not had that tool. Absolutely. You know, because once you've got that, it makes the job a lot easier and a lot more fit for purpose. I couldn't agree more. I mean? Couldn't agree more. Um, my sister uh, is, is, um, is, into her, is into her cookery. I bought her a, a cookbook stand for her birthday, which she absolutely loved. I'm so glad that she likes it. Lovely Sally saucepan. Um, her husband, for her birthday and Christmas, is buying her a mixer. Fantastic. Because, you know, they're really quite expensive. Yeah, exactly. They can be kind of a couple of hundred pounds, they can't are. they? Even more. Some of them can be they up are. to, what, seven, yeah. eight hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, electric scales to weigh all your ingredients. Well, they can be, goodness me, they can be kind of 20, 30, 40 pounds. What I'm trying to say is, when you take up a new skill, when you take up a new hobby, quite often the tools can be really, really expensive, really considered purchase, and you have to go, you know, is this something I'm actually going to use? Am I actually going to use these scales? Am I actually going to use this? Because that's a lot of money to be spending out. These are 6.95. This is the whole point with jewelry making. This is the whole point with jewelry maker. We want to be your one-stop shop for everything jewelry make, um, everything jewelry maker related. We want you to have enough money to get these tools and then to get our kits today. There's no point us being in competition with anyone else. We're not in competition with anyone else. We will literally look at a tool and we will say, right. Okay, how much does it cost us to make? Fantastic. How much are we going to sell it for? Fantastic. A classic example is the uh, paracord bracelet making jig. Um, you can get it elsewhere um, for I think between 14 and 17 or 14 and 19 pounds. That's kind of about the price points that they go for. It's about 19, 95, I can't remember. It's, it's kind of high teens. We got them in stock. We didn't even bother looking at the kind of price points anyone else was doing. All we did was said, well, how much does it cost us to make? How much does it cost us for shipping? All that kind of stuff, taking all that into consideration. How much are we gonna sell it for? And we undercut everybody else by, by what? Five, six, seven pounds. So we're not in competition with anyone else. All we do is we look at these tools and we say, right, what is the very, very lowest price point we can take this down to? Loads of you coming through to get this at 6 95 We've got Liz, Aisha, Sandra, Mary, Wendy, Catherine, Patricia, Helen, Rosalind, Karen, Shirley, Anonymous, Gillian, Dr. Rose. Oh, you sound interesting. Uh, Jane, Susan, Catherine, Patricia, Georgina, Rachel. I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of you coming through. If you do want to multi-buy any of these deals today, please, just go for it but 6.95 for a tool that you're going to be using again and again and again as linda says you'll get these tools home and you'll wonder how on earth you ever got on without them how many of you at home have got a selection of pen lids and things like that that you use as templates law um uh, not, not laura Bonnie, Gemma crow used to use uh, bits of lego and pen lids yeah, as um exactly. templates exactly well what if you've got the right tools for the job um basically it clears your workspace as well yeah you know, which, which can never be a bad thing, that can't. Mm, absolutely. So you don't have to have, you don't have to have those kind of dozens of pen lids and yeah. different kind of templates out now. You could, you've got your tools right here. So much more than bell making pliers. You know, if you're gonna be making bells, great, but if you're gonna be making jump rings or you're gonna be making figure of eight or um, a figure of eight chain or S hook connectors, 
anything like that using tools like this absolutely essential well done sorry say that again ollie a circle in a circle in a circle says ollie nice it's good like idea circle within a circle in a circle design don't they call those concentric circles they do oh that's a big word Whoa. that was a big word ollie calls it the circle of life <laughs> This the circle <laughs> of life. I got that note there, didn't I? Just right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness me. I wasn't working with this team on Thursday. Um, I was telling some awful jokes on Thursday. Like really morbid jokes. Did you see some of them? I don't know what was wrong with me. Prue looked absolutely horrified. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, about the boy who was just ahead. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't walk into me that oh, day. You've just broken my dream. No, I really? don't believe that. Really? Yeah, I was walking past a gypsy encampment with a head. Actually, walking not with my head, somebody else's head, and it was a. Oh my word! That's spooky, Carol. That's what I woke up with this morning. I was absolutely. I was in a real lather. Didn't even bother having the shower because I was in that much of a lather. <laughs> <laughs> Take your find that oh, did you say number seven? Mm. Oh, where they are. Um, don't you find it really weird when people start oh. talking about their dreams? Do you instantly switch off? Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? <laughs> well, basically, I was in my house, but it wasn't my house. And it was day, but it was night. And I knew that I was there, but I didn't know that I was there. It's just like. <sighs> Uh, dreams are just the most boring things to hear about, aren't they? That actually sounded quite interesting, though. I'm glad I woke up when I did, because I would have hated to have seen what the end of it was going to involve. Can you imagine? I probably fed the head to the donkey. Right, that's enough! <laughs> Sounds like some kind of a horror movie, doesn't it? Yeah, that is a weird sentence, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go! Back in the world of jewellery maker. 925 sterling silver detailed bales. Are you going to bail me out with this one now? Uh, uh, I'll bail you out. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's so. It's all in the detail, Carol. Hey? It's all in the detail. It's, it is all in the detail. So. What's he on about? Uh, so, 925 <laughs> sterling silver detail pendant bales. Now, um, what are these for? What are they for? Well, if you've got any half-drilled pearls at home, these are absolutely perfect to use with your half-drilled pearls, because of course pearls are half. Um, if they're going to be half-drilled, you, um, you can just pop them on the end with a bit of jewellery glue, and you have a lovely pendant bale, or you can make it into a pair of earrings just by touching a jump ring and a pair of earring findings onto there as well. Lovely. Also, another great way of using these is to use them in polymer clay. Absolutely. Um, uh, all you would need to do is to push... Uh, one of these uh, bales into your polymer clay design um, and, and you can bake it because it's 925 sterling silver you can bake it with it it's got some beautiful 925 sterling silver quality just there it's that stamp 925 which signifies that what you're working with what you're looking at is 95 sterling silver we've got less than 80 chances We've actually got some half drill pearls coming. Oh, we've actually got some half drill pearls coming up on the show tomorrow. Uh, I bought you some. Was it last week or this week? I can't remember. They all blend into one at the minute, all the weeks. Um, but um, um, we don't get the chance to bring you findings for half drilled pearls very often. So when we do, just make the most of them. These are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So beautiful half drilled pearl quality pendant bales here. But they can you can cross them over into earrings and into polymer clay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Fantastic price for you today. These are all 925 sterling silver. This is your price point for precious metal findings. Eight pounds, 95 pence for precious metal findings. These are 925 sterling silver findings. Absolutely gorgeous. So, Linda, I'm thinking not just bales, but earrings. Yeah, absolutely. Not just half drill pearls, but polymer clay. Yeah. Yes, completely. I've used them because the last time they were on, I bought them. And um, what did you set them with? I've I've actually put pearls. Oh, lovely! Yeah, yeah. I have put it, put them with the pearls. And and the object there with a half drill pearl, obviously by the nature of, of the statement, it's only drilled halfway. And you don't have that. Um, the only other way that you can put them on is obviously through a head pin or a piece of wire. And you've yeah. got to you've got to have a stopper then, haven't you? Yes, absolutely. So that that stops that. Um, so you don't see the mechanics of it. But mm. then you've got that gorgeous stunning silver head coil that's sitting on the top now what I've actually done I've made three pendants all 
with white pearls. Oh wow! And I've got a dinner party coming up um, in about three weeks, and they won't be watching at the moment. It's too early on a Saturday, and um, I've popped them into the ladies' crackers pendant. Oh wow! Yeah, really pleased with that. I, I, I said. Uh, some time ago, I was going to put jewellery into cracks, but when they were on, I thought, well, that's absolutely perfect because nobody, nobody cannot like um, a single pearl pendant on a sterling silver chain. It's a lovely present. Yeah, inside the crackers, it's nice, isn't it? What a lovely idea for a cracker present. Cassie just walking through shop there, lovely. Uh, so, what a lovely idea for a cracker present or a, uh, a stocking filler or maybe a, um, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, a stocking filler. Something. I mean, what a lovely idea. Oh, I really do like that idea. Hey, I'm having people over for dinner tonight. I'm not giving them anything apart from dinner. <laughs> Crispy duck lasagna. Oof, that sounds delicious. Crispy duck lasagna. I don't know what to do with a starter. What's a good, simple starter? Oh, just smoke salmon on brown bread. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah Something simple when you've got a complex, yeah. fabulous, hearty dish. Crispy duck like lasagna that. with a bit of Nigella Lawson's New, New Orleans, Orleans coleslaw, coleslaw that I'm going to make this afternoon. Yeah. Then it's going to be... Um, uh, Something, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, raspberry tiramisu. Then we've got loads of cheese. Oh, yes. And a shed load of wine. Yes. It's quite Italian -y, isn't it? A mozzarella salad. That's a nice idea, Ollie. Mmm. It is actually. Ooh. Maybe I should do that then. Yeah, cheers, gang. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Brilliant well done. 8 95 for your 95 selling silver. De uh, detailed pendant bales there. Three of these for under a tenner. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right, earring findings. Earring, are you listening? <laughs> Give me three rings. Uh, so, your silver plated copper earring findings. Lovely, lovely, lovely. These are earring posts with butterfly backs. Let me find one that's got the back on it. Here we go. There you are. Earring findings with butterfly back. So you've got your stud. Stud. Uh, so you've got your earring posts with uh, the little bead on the front with, there's your loopy at the bottom. And there's your butterfly back as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are silver plated copper earring posts with butterfly backs. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we believe here at Joy Maker are bringing you the whole finding. So you're not just going to get the post, you're going to get the butterfly backs as well. You would be surprised the amount of people who try and sell you the butterfly backs separately to the earring post. What a joke. What a joke. So you've got your silver plated copper earring post with the butterfly backs, okay? You're going to be getting 50, well, approximately 50 pairs of these, okay? That's a lot of earring findings. 50 pairs in total. From speaking to many of you who do craft fairs and some of our guest designers who still um, um, have the time to do craft fairs, um, biggest selling items tend to be things like rings and earrings. Why? Well, they can be pocket money prices. They can be stocking filler prices. They can be secret Santa prices. They can be the right kind of price points. They can be sub 10 pounds. Some of them sub five pounds as well, depending on the gemstones you're going to be using. Right, okay, so 50 pairs of your earring findings here. Loads and loads and loads of them. And they're not going to take up a huge amount of room. So don't be worried about multi-buying this deal today because they're not going to take up huge amounts of room. Here's your deal today for 50 pairs of silver plate to copper earring findings, 12.95. Black Friday deals continued. From 12.95 down to, oh, that's a great saving. Black Friday continued. Amazing, isn't it? Well done, everyone. So 50 pairs of your earring findings today for under eight pounds. Loads of you coming through for these. This is the perfect opportunity to stock up, isn't it? An absolute perfect opportunity to stock up on these deals. Ooh, this is from uh, Joanna in Greater London, only on Joey Maker. Can you talk about pearls as being <laughs> stocking fillers? Love it. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Probably, we should, oh, can I tell you something? The other day, no, actually, no, 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 I won't tell you now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you when we do, I'll tell you when we do our boutique collections. No, actually, I'll tell you, no. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit later on the show, otherwise it'll spoil the impact. Um, yeah, anyway, right, so 7 95 for 50 pairs of silver-plated copper earring findings. Absolutely beautiful. Aisha says, Morning, Carol. I had a dream about making four candles that kept lighting themselves. Every time I blew a candle out, another one would light itself. That sounds really prophetic. Sounds like that means something, don't you think? Oh, what do you reckon that means? 
Um. Oh, here we go. Mystic Meg over there. <laughs> She got magic candles basically. I know that when you dream about a house, you're dreaming about your inner mind. And so if you dream about a house, I, I quite often dream about houses that and I don't want to go into certain rooms, which means you're scared of certain parts of your psyche. Or you, you've got things in your life which you don't want to visit, but you're scared to visit. Yeah, that sounds uh, that a bit like... That often happens yeah. to me. Sounds a bit like my ex, not ex, sorry, <laughs> not ex, but sounds a bit like, yes, actually, an ex, this is going back a long way. Ooh, Linda. Trust me, it's a long way. An ex boyfriend, all. An ex-boyfriend's parents. Oh, dear. It was like that. I didn't want to go into the room where they were because they were so odd. Really? Yeah, that really meant, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know more, don't you? <laughs> oh, they lived in a coven. I knew, I, well, I knew a guy, I used to date a guy, and he, before he dated me, he dated this girl who, whose parents used to have a lock on their bedroom, and um, they always used to lock the door before they left the house. <laughs> and once, um, they forgot to lock the door, and the, par and, and the parents went out, and um, he was just about to go into the bedroom to see why they always locked it. And they ran back into the house and quickly locked the door. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Might be some weird kind of... Oh. Anyway! Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Do you remember League of Gentlemen? Yeah. That, it's a bit Proper like... Proper Royston Vasey stuff, isn't it? Yeah. I can, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> right. First kit. This kit's a little bit special. To look at, looks like a boutique collection, doesn't it? Looks like a boutique. Absolutely amazing. Did you see those blue strands of gemstones in there, by the way? Did you see those blue strands? Yeah. See that red strand there? See it, yeah? Mm, lovely, yeah. Tell you what I think they look like. Yeah. Doesn't that look like tanzanite? Doesn't it look like it? Doesn't that red strand look like Arisa Garnet? Well, I've never had Arisa Garnet on Jewelry Maker before. You very rarely get tanzanite, so it can't be, can't be, can't be. It is. It is. This deserves to be a boutique collection. The gemstone quality you are getting in this kit is amongst the best I have ever bought you. This is like the who's who of gemstones. I'm just gonna pick the first strand up, the first one that my hand is on. It's a strand of African aquamarine this is probably nigerian um, aquamarine it's absolutely incredible a double strand of african aquamarine a double strand of brazilian citrine a double strand of Brazilian citrine. A double strand. Oh no. A double strand of Orissa Garnet. Orissa is an amazing location in India. Um, famous for its source of Alexandrite. Um, tectonic plate wise and kind of um, the earth has certain veins of gemstones that you can kind of track laterally and you can track them um, um, uh, longitude wise as well Arissa Alexandrite is mined on the same vein um, um, that, that uh, Russian Alexandrite was first discovered in the Ural Mountains it's absolutely astonishing the garnet you can get from Orissa 
is amongst the finest in the world due to its colour, its richness, its clarity and its natural quality. This is totally natural Orissa Garnet. I have never knowingly bought you Orissa Garnet on Jewelry Maker before. This is, this is a first for me. Very, very special indeed. Absolutely awesome. You then got a beautiful gemstone chain. This is one of our newest gemstone chains. This is silver plated brass amethyst chain. These are six millimeter round African amethyst you're gonna be getting. You can tell it's African amethyst just by its color, by its depth of color. Um, I'm gonna pop it on that side there just so you see it against the citrine. Uh, because these two gemstones are very closely connected um, citrine is basically amethyst which has been um, heat treated um, so you get this wonderful wonderful quality so already double strand of Arisa garnet double strand of African aquamarine double strand of Brazilian um, um, citrine another strand of Brazilian citrine another strand of, of um, uh, gemstone chain which is African amethyst so four double gemstone strands and a meter of chain and then there's more yeah, yeah. Genuine freshwater culture pearls in this gorgeous kind of custody colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Described as champagne pearls. These are roughly nine by eight millimetres in diameter. Don't expect perfect rounds. Don't expect Baroque pearls. These are more nuggety than anything else. They're just gorgeous. Beautiful quality. Lovely, lovely, satiny smooth um, uh, texture to these. How about another strand of genuine freshwater culture pearls? Yes, another one. Yeah, got another one here. Genuine freshwater culture pearls again. This time, these are slightly smaller. They're eight by seven millimeters in diameter. So already four double strands, two strands of pearls and a meter of gemstone chain. I've got more, even more. Double strand of genuine tanzanite one of the rarest gemstones on planet Earth. A gemstone which about six months ago we had to make a really difficult call on at the Genuine Gemstone Company. We actually had to raise our prices of tanzanite due to the scarcity of this gemstone. It's a very, very rare gemstone. Many experts believe this gemstone might actually not uh, be around within the next decade. It's very, very worrying times indeed at the Tanzanite mines over in Arusha at the Merilani Hills. Reportedly, there was um, around about a month that went past without any gem quality Tanzanite being mined from one of the particular mine shafts. That's really, really worrying times. Really worrying times. I've got another double strand here. Tanzanite again. You have got a kit that has got two double strands of Tanzanite, two strands of genuine freshwater culture pearls, a double strand of, of natural Orissa garnet, a double strand of African aquamarine, totally natural again, a dub two double strands of beautiful citrine and your very own silver plated brass gemstone chain with, with um, stunning African natural amethyst in. Oh, and there's some more as well. Yeah, I've got your threading pack with monofilament beading thread and elastic in, and also 118 silver plated copper findings as well. And I've got one more element as well. Wire. The final flourish, 10 meters of 0.4 millimeter gauge silver plated copper wire 0.4 millimeter gauge silver plated copper wire 10 meters in total everything in this kit today together should be over 62 pounds so it should be over 62 pounds you are effectively getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Effectively, you're getting the equivalent of fifteen strands of genuine gemstones here, because you have the double strands you're going to be getting, as well as the single strands. 
the quality is exceptional it should be over 62 pounds today it's not going to be anywhere near it 39.95 that is the kind of saving i like to see on a black friday continued saturday absolutely amazing you are going nuts over this kit it's amazing linda how did you manage to get your tanzanite and orissa garnet um it was one of those situations where it's right place at right time so i just walked into the <laughs> office and heard anna oxbury say whoa i've just had some chips in and i said oh that's interesting i love chips what have you got and she went through all of the chips, the citrate and the aquamarine. Then she mentioned garnet. I said, well, I've been with that one. Um, and then she mentioned tanzanite. And I thought, now, which one shall I ask for? So I just went, I've got to have them both. I've got to have them both. It is one of those kits that you look at and you just look at the jewellery and you look at the quality of the gems and you just go, wow. Wow. These colours just, these colours work so well together. I mean, astonishing quality. These these tanzanites look like little um, forget-me-nots. Yes, they're so they're pretty. They're so sweet, that weed, sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Love that colour combination. That's tanzanite stunning. and pearls are a match made in heaven without mm. a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, beautiful. Then look at this colour combination here with the orissa mm. garnet and that beautiful citrine. I see that works. Look at this colour combination here with the aquamarine, the tanzanite, and the citrine. Lovely, lovely, lovely jewellery. This kit's going to sell out within the next few seconds, um, Linda. What are you going to be demoing for us? Right, um, well, the, the little earrings um, just in front of the. That's the These one. These ones. Yep. Yeah, very simple, but I think really effective because, yeah, as I've just said, pearl and tanzanite are fantastic, mm. aren't they? So, all you need to do is um, in, in the um, findings pack, you'll notice that there's um, anybody who's bought them before, but any newbies will notice that there's a skinny head pin and there is a, a larger version of it. So, um, in most cases, the larger version will go through. Now, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if you just get your, we'll, we'll just try this before we go on to the skinny, but if you just put your flat nose pliers on, no, that's not going to have it. So we'll put that one to one side and we will go to the skinny, which is the beauty of pearls, um, is the fact that sometimes they are um, drilled really, really finely. But do, if you wish to use, the larger head pin, do mm. you use your Rima. It's normally a little bit of dust that's got slightly mm. wet and gone a little bit solid, but it will move with a Rima. But just for the show today, I'll pop in the, um, just as an example. Okay, so I've popped Lovely. that on. Now, bearing in mind that the, the larger head pin will give more of a, of a pattern to this design, um, so use the Rima that's in the, the small tool kit. So all you do then is um, let the little, uh, sort of ball at the end of the head pin stick out somewhat and bring the head pin around and take it around that ball and then just bring it back up to the top now the skinnier head pins are longer than um, than the other head pin mm -hmm. so the other head pin actually is specifically the right size to get my little um, loop but on this one I'm just going to take off a, a little bit probably a couple of centimeters and then just coil back okay so we just coil that back to make um, a mechanic for the chain okay so make a simple loop Lovely. okay that's not the best simple loop in the world but that's make a simple all loop. right we'll let you and off then, this because once. it's a simple loop we can open it so we open mm. that and then we just pop on a link of three I've, on the chain I've used three of the larger link um, so you've got a three link drop as it were oh, with the lovely. little decorative yeah. ones in between and then um, it's simply a matter then of popping on again um, to either head pin whichever fits and I've used the skinny ones on here pop on I put three of the tanzanite you can use any of the um, nuggets that are in the kit but the tanzanite and pearl are beautiful make half of a wrapped loop so you push away flick the wrist over and then bring it back so you've got like a what I call a question mark shape and then simply pop that through that first loop and then again taking your own nose pliers pop that back into the loop and then bring the head pin between the loop and the top of the tanzanite Lovely. <coughs> and just keep on twisting that round give it quite a tight fit and then just pop with your snippers take off that and then you can literally do i think i put probably 
um, two per link, so yeah. that that will be six drops. But you can you can use three, you can use more. You can really bulk them up if you want to. And a slightly different take on the design is these. Yeah, exactly. This little it's one exactly here. the same take, where mm. it's just a drop of a pearl through a head pin, and then the little gathering of of the citrine. Isn't that lovely? And the tans are. It, it's fabulous. So congratulations to everybody who got it. Um, you will really love it. it to be honest, it, it, it's a privilege. This particular. Yeah. One with the garnet and the tans. It Tanzanite really pearls. is. Um, and I'll tell you something, the other two kits that we've got on today's show are equally as beautiful. It really is one of those shows and you just look at the kits and go, oh, they're amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for that, Linda. That was awesome. Lovely. Right, let's see you over at the Wall of Fame. This is lovely. I've got number 64 from Sue on the Isle of Wight, who says, Dear jewelry maker, here's my interview for this week's Wall of Fame. I've never had much success with rings, but after seeing the demo from Michelle Naylor, I thought I'd have a go, as she made it look really easy. It's a fluorite stone from a strand I bought years ago, uh, sorry, ages ago, she says, uh, with bronze wire. I was really pleased with the result. Thanks for all the inspiration. Sue on the Isle of Wight. That wire work is so neat. Isn't you it? should be really pleased with that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, because that's quite a small area to work in, yeah. so that's really clever. Best this is luck. number 65, and it's stunning. <gasps> this reminds me of thanks for all the great inspiration and bargains and that's regards from Maggie in Belfast. Maggie, yes, I, think, Maggie. I think it's exquisite. Yeah, it's I lovely. really think it's exquisite. It's beautiful. Really lovely. Uh, number 67 here, lovely rosary link um, uh, piece here from Jane in Cornwall. Here's my entry for this week. Uh, my granddaughter wanted a rosary and saw this labradorite chain I got from Jewelry Maker. She had a crucifix, so I cut up the labradorite chain and used silver page chain I got from Jewelry Maker and her crucifix. Um, I made this. She loves it. I hope you do too. And that's from Jane in Cornwall. Um, isn't that beautiful? It's so lovely to see the rosary link style chain used in a rosary. In a rosary. It's really beautiful. I agree. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Number what 67. What a nice gift that yeah, would make beautiful. as well. Best of luck, Jane. This is a beautiful collar necklace here. It's number 66. Wow. And it's from Margaret. Uh, Margaret says, uh, this is a please oh. find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Um, first time with wire, and I'm not quite sure it's my thing, though I have had a few compliments on it, but maybe people are just being polite. They're not, Margaret. It's beautiful. Um, it's made from green adventure in black agate, baroque pearls and wire, and it's finished off with a chain at the back. Everything from Jewelry Maker, of course. Good luck to everybody in the drawer, and that's from Margaret. Margaret, just continue doing the wire work. It's fabulous. Mm, really, really lovely. Is, yeah. Number 68 here with a very proud little person behind the board here. Uh, this is from Pipette, all jewelry make a cord with some beads and the rest are from my stash. I think she'll be getting her own stash from Father Christmas. I hope so. I hope this makes the wall. She'll be so excited and a win would help. Big hugs and sloppy kisses to you all. Oh, thanks, Pippa. Uh, from Pippa and Trinity. Trinity, best of luck, darling. And I tell you what, you've got a real talent there. Certainly Look how neat that. that is. Absolutely. Just think you can make all your friends that for Christmas and birthdays. They'd be over the That's moon, awesome. Trinity. Best Fabulous. of luck, Trinity and Pippa. Awesome. Thank you. Right. I've got a, uh, I've got a joke for you. Go on, then. Doctor, doctor. Um, oh, no. It's not doctor, doctor. Uh, a man walks into a doctor. He says, I feel like a pig. And the doctor says, how long have you felt like this? And he said, about a week. <laughs> it's a bit sour. <laughs> sour. Bubble. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, okay, so uh, we've got um <clears throat> we've got this incredible strand of uh opal, which when are we doing the opal by the way? Oh look. Are we really? Right, this incredible strand of opal, we've only got 40 of it, we can only commission 40 of these. Um I have to say, Dion, producer Dion um, uh, has actually requested one of these uh, for herself. So has Ollie, um, who's directing today. This strand is absolutely the best strand of opal we have ever had on the show, bar none. It's coming up just after the break. You've got to be in it to win it. There's only 40 chances available. It's coming up in just a few seconds. Join Angela Edwards on this dynamic, information-filled and fun workshop where you will learn key knowledge on how to sell your jewellery products. Amongst the wealth of practical information available, you'll discover over 35 places to sell your products on a regular basis, how to price your products for insurances to have in place, 
and how to build a loyal customer base. So if you want to get started, grow or boost your sales for Christmas, New Year and beyond, this is the course for you. Also included in this amazing workshop is a Christmas style buffet and refreshments, use of all relevant tools, a tour of the studios, a visit to the Gemporia Museum and a chance to visit the jewellery maker shop. Book your place now. For more information, contact the call centre on 0800 644 655. As peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. Join Karen Crawford on a new DVD to Jewelry Maker, Talk Necklace Projects. You'll learn lovely talk necklace designs, such as the freeform talk necklace, colour grading, how to add gemstones, the Aztec weave and how to add embellishments. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that every individual gemstone in our Gems of Distinction collection goes through a seven-stage intricate process to get from the rough to a beautiful bead? This opal is something else. This opal is going to sell out very, very, very quickly. This opal is the best opal I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. I cannot express just how fantastic this is. I've seen lots of opal over the years. Um, I've been lucky enough to bring uh, you at the Genuine Gemstone Company um, Australian opal from places like Cuba PD, um, Ethiopian opal, I bought you Boulder opal, I've bought you doublet, triplet, I bought you, you know, loads and loads of different varieties of opal. Um, I never thought Ethiopian opal could look so incredible. I mean, this is the absolute best I have ever bought you. Um, Dion couldn't believe her eyes this morning. We showed her the recording and she said, seriously, she came out into the, um, into the studio and had a look at it and she was like, oh my word. Oh my word, oh my word. We've got, we've got Ollie who is directing, who's actually uh, um, hopefully reserving one of this um, incredible strand. He's gonna make it into earrings. It's gonna be um, Christmas presents uh, for his wife, for his mum. You know, it, it, it's, it's, oh. it's the best, it's the best. This is all the way from Ethiopia. Okay, mined at the Wengal uh, Tenor Mines in Ethiopia. It doesn't have the kind of creamy colour background that a lot of Ethiopian opal has. It's got more of a white background. It looks more like Australian opal, don't you think? You can tell it's a fantastic quality opal by the colours coming out of it. Because, of course, yes, you're going to be getting blues and you're going to be getting greens and you're going to be getting yellows. The amount of red shows this to be the absolute pinnacle. If you get red in opal, you know you've hit the jackpot. I adore it. It is, without shadow of the doubt, uh, the best opal I have ever bought you on Jewelry Maker. There is nothing that even comes close to this. This is your price today. Oh, 
Wow. 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 Linda? It's apps. It's Tinkerbell stuck inside a dewdrop. Oh, She's been trapped inside it? a little drop, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah! There's a pair of earrings in the shop. I, I mentioned to you, didn't I, earlier, that I've got my eye on in the shop out here. Oh, the earrings, yeah, yes. Yeah, and they are, um, obviously, they're, they're just two Ethiopian opals, um, little sort of uh, ovals, small. Captions um, like these, yeah, kind yeah, of not tiny, faceted. Tiny, tiny ones they yeah. are compared to those. And in our shop, which is amazing value, yeah. they're £40 for a pair, the pair of it in our shop. Okay? And our shop is yeah. like... Yeah, it's, it's like... The discounted beyond belief. Totally. So if you imagine that, you, you basically... The way they've been stranded, they've crammed so many on. I mean, I'm, Ollie says he's going to make earrings. Well, whoa. How many pairs of those have you got? And actually, do you know, if you do sell your jewellery, I think that's a thing to do with that strand. Yeah. Is to make Because you're going to get so much money back for them. And also be really proud of what you're selling. That's, that's the nice thing as well, you know, offer and say, look, you know, I'm really, really so proud of these gemstones. Like everything that the, an opal should be. I love Ethiopian opal. I love it. Okay. I have to say, up until today, the best opal I'd ever seen in my life did come from Kuba PD. Um, this, this wins hands down. Yeah. There is nothing about this strand that I don't want and love. Every single, every single minutia of this strand I'm into, the color, the clarity, the pin fire, the flashes. Superb. And the greatest thing is this strand, I've got people calling from not just the UK, from all over the world coming through to get this. This is gonna go all over the world. Isn't that amazing? We've got double bias. Kerry from Cambridge here? says, oh. absolutely stunning! Well, it is. It's beyond stunning. Two, three chances left. Oh, gosh. One opportunity remaining. Oh. That is absolutely the best opal I've ever bought you. That's some of the finest opal I've ever seen. Do you know what I was doing? Um, Thursday evening... Look at that one. That's amazing. On Thursday evening... Um, I was invited to this do, this like evening do at Stony Abbey, which is just near where we live. And um, it, was a, it was a do for a local uh, jeweler um, that my husband's bought a couple of bits from in the past. And uh, we turned up there. And just to give you an idea of their price points, uh, they've got pieces of jewelry there that when I visited the shop about five years ago, they've still got the same pieces of jewelry for sale. That's how expensive they are. I mean, it's unbelievable. And the opal that they had, the, the contemporary pieces of opal that they had, beautiful price points, you know, dream on if you think you're going to get anything from them with gorgeous um, Australian opal uh, less than four figures. The only decent opal that, that, I, that I could see was an Edwardian piece, um, which, was, which was five figures. You know, this quality is right up there with some of the best best in the world that is astonishing never seen oh beautiful right and um, scott stone find him on facebook our manager has just come in with this incredible strand check it out pearl stars starry starry night la 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 what do you reckon, Linda? You're hurting my ear. <laughs> oh, because Vincent Mang off. Yeah, Thank you. he cut his ear off. Thanks, uh, right, where are we going, sweetheart? Number three. To the right, to the right. Oh, we had these on the show the other day with you, Linda, didn't we? These really big lobster claw clasps. We certainly did, yes. And I have since made three handbag charms with them. Have you? I did, yeah. I was making some wine glass charms and yeah. I've made, I thought, oh, I'll use these. Wine um, glass charms? You don't drink though, Linda. No, 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 they weren't for me. I, I always know where my glass is. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I've made hand. three handbags. It's only because I've bought three people. No. Actually, three nieces. They won't be watching either. Um, quite trendy handbags nice. so um I've, I've popped them because all of the handbags that i were looking at in the shop had were covered in charms yeah but this particular one hadn't so i thought well i'll put them on they can always take them off if they don't want them 
There is a certain, I mean, there are loads of brands that I can think of. I won't name any of the brands, but there's something boutique, Thingy's Boutique, mm -hmm. make handbags, yeah. Their bags are covered in charms, covered, 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 covered in charms. Um, I was in, um, I was in that girly, 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 girly shop the other day, Thingy's Accessories, and because um, I was looking for some, I was looking for, don't start laughing at me. I was looking for a cheap umbrella for the play that I'm doing um, this week. Um, and, and I managed to find the cheap umbrella, cheapy, 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 which um, is pretty much broken. I've only used it once. Um, and, and there's loads of, um, loads of charms and things like that, and lots of phone charms and bag charms. It's a great little prezi for um, teenagers, for, um, uh, for youngsters, and a great if you want to make um, uh, charity things as well, because you can sell these on for just, for just a few pounds. Absolutely gorgeous. So, 10 of these gorgeous stainless steel lobster claw clasps. 25 by 15 by 5 millimetres in diameter. Here's your price. There you are, 6.95. Done. Done. Black Friday continued. And I tell you what the nice thing is about the Black Friday deals you're going to be getting here at Jewelry Maker. You're not going to get trampled to death. You're not going to end up in a fist fight. You're not going to end up with scratches all over your face. I mean, that was just, it was obscene. I was watching some of the videos today. Did you see it on the news yesterday about Black Friday? People are like, they're possessed. You hear about people being trampled. It was just so, what a way to behave. What a way to behave. The people on the resort are just being like animals, don't they? I walked into town yesterday, into Stratford where I live, um, and um, we don't have any big kind of department stores in. Well, we got we got uh, yeah we got a couple of them, but not any big 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 kind of um, um, department stores. They all seem to be out of town at kind of retail parks, don't they? Um, and everyone was just going absolutely nuts. It's like they'd never seen shops before. It's like they it's just it was just bonkers. I'd much rather be at home with a cup of tea, sitting down with a bacon sandwich. Oh, bacon sandwich mm. that'd be nice. Oh, bacon sarnie, sitting in front of the TV, and just and at my leisure, at my leisure. It's a free phone number, you know, from a BT landline. Your mate, our call centre team are lovely. Got a 30 day, an extended 30 day money back guarantee. It's a no quibble money back guarantee as well. You won't get people taking something back to the shop and people going, what was wrong with it? Don't you hate it when you're asked? I just didn't want it. I didn't like it. It didn't fit. And they start looking at it, looking at the, has she worn it? Has she worn it? It's just, oh gosh. They treat you like children, don't they? Or have you ever bought anything in the sale? Bought anything at the sale and you take it back because the because the dressing and the fitting rooms are just jam-packed full of people and you think I can't be bothered to go in there I don't want to go in. I'll try and I want to get it home and it doesn't fit you take it back to the shop and you can't take it back because you bought it in the sale how ridiculous is that even things that you get for the with these kind of a discounts on 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 prices you can still use your extended 30 day money back guarantee that is amazing long live jewelry maker I say that's what I say yeah. Okay, so Andrea in Lancashire says, Hi ladies, Linda, what jewellery maker techniques do you cover on your beginner's jewellery maker course? Okay, um, there's a lady in there today that came in, in um, Fiona's course today that came on the last one. And she actually said to me, and she's there to, to sort of say I'm not telling any fibs, that she said that she has asked a friend, told a friend, and that yeah. friend's coming on next week, to so the one next week. And apparently, um, well, she didn't know how to make jewellery at all, but they went home knowing how to make jewellery, knowing how to do earrings, how to do bracelets, wow. how to do necklaces. And then in the afternoon, we can do anything that you want to make, anything at all, any little ideas that come into your But literally, you'll go out of the, of, of the workshop and you'll know exactly how to make jewellery. You might move on to different mediums afterwards, but you will know how to make jewellery. Isn't that amazing? start to scratch. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You so will. you can come into this course not knowing how to make jewellery at all, not knowing what an eye pin or a crimp bead is, and you leave being able to make jewellery. Yeah, and if there's anything that you sort of, perhaps you, you've made a bit of jewellery in the past, if there's anything that you want consolidating or teaching, you know, uh, showing you how to, just ask me and I'll do it. So, That's you know, just, just come along with, with an open mind, with any questions, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Are there any spaces left, then? Uh, as far as I know, it's full, but you never know this time of year. So many people are sort of getting these lurgy and things. Yeah, so yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just call the, the call centre. Yeah, speak to the call centre. Yeah, speak to the call centre. There's so one there's... Um, January the... something. Oh, very early January, there's really, the next one. The third, I think, on January. Third, yes. Yeah. Goodness me. Lovely. Yeah! No, the one he just played on, it was for December the 3rd. Yeah. It was December the 3rd. 
There's definitely one early January. I think the VT is wrong because it said December the 3rd on the thing. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Check for the call centre. Yeah, the next week's is December the 3rd. Next Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Hi there. So, okay. Yes, thank you, Ollie. Yes, I knew I was right. Once again, I'm right. <laughs> so I thought I was it. wrong once. I was mistaken. <laughs> Didn't Oscar Wilde say that? Was it yeah, Noel Coward? Did, Someone uh, clever. Yeah. It wasn't me. We're doing these pendant findings, aren't we? Yes, lovely. So I thought you said peridot. Right, okay, so you've got your rose gold plated copper pendant findings here. These are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? I love this kind of um, this kind of floral design that you're going to be getting here. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know what these remind me of? Oh, goodness me, that's what it reminds me of. Um, I used to get these sketchbooks when I was younger with patterns printed on them and you used to colour in, um, in the shapes. Do you ever remember those? You used to colour in the shapes. Yeah, like a spirograph kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just reminds me of a spirograph. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. These are all rose gold plated copper, by the way. You can use these pendant findings. Now, you can use them as pendants, and they look great as findings. You don't have to, though. You can use them as earrings, or as Linda suggested the other day, inspir was it you who suggested this? Well, I don't know why. Making these into connectors. Yes, yes, because I have done that. So, yeah. so to make it into a five strand connector. Yeah, I tell you what, it's, what, it, what the connector is fantastic for is if you do multi strand crocheted beading ah. thread with, uh, with, you know, if you've got the last kit with all the chips and nuggets yes, in there. Definitely. Fabulous. That's what I did. I was really, really happy with it. So you just do two fairly symmetric, just, mm. just on the collarbone, and then drop uh, multi stranded or multi stranded uh, crochets. It looks amazing. So, so just to show you what Linda's meaning, uh, you maybe have a chain or a single piece of thread going through here. I'll just pop this up to my neckline just so you can see what I mean. Then you'd have these. Oh, hair out of the way. You'd have these two connectors here. Then you'd have five strands coming from either one of these to make a gorgeous five strand neckline piece. But you can have them asymmetric if you want to. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really great idea. Absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. So three of these in total. Here's your price point. £9.95p. Absolutely fantastic for three of your rose gold plated copper pendant bales findings absolutely gorgeous well done everyone absolutely wonderful and um, not to mention which we had a prue on the show on thursday um who i mean she predominantly works with things like seed beads and kamehimo um seed beading and kind of um sewing seed beads onto these gorgeous gorgeous um uh, pendant findings would be absolutely gorgeous you could really embellish it and make it look absolutely gorgeous great hung in your window as well as a christmas uh, decoration or hang it on your tree as a christmas tree decoration why not lovely ideas uh fran from london says thre uh, thread chips onto thread and fill up the spaces nice idea nice idea yeah lovely these are lovely ideas today aren't they i wonder if um fiona's got a way of setting these with uh, resin do you know I think she's done that? Has she? Yes, I'm sure she's done that on, on either her last inspiration show or the one prior to that. I'm Ooh. absolutely convinced that she has, yes. And it looked, lovely, it looked like stained glass. Yes, yes, they yeah. would do. If you hang yeah. them in your window, they would, wouldn't they? We've got Fiona with us today who's uh, doing a, a workshop. She's doing a, a, a resin workshop in there. Everyone's beavering away in there. She's just such a lovely... She gives the best hugs in the world, doesn't she? She does. She's wonderful. Proper hugs. We're having a right giggle before the show today. Anyway, so 9 95 for your three pendant findings there. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, sorry, Sega, uh, 16. Right. Okie dokie. Right, okay. These are precious metal ones, aren't they? Now, here at Jewelry Maker, yeah, here at Jewelry Maker, we are. Uh, I, I like to. I like to consider all of our um, producers, Dion being one of them, to be fairly level-headed. They wouldn't do anything rash. They wouldn't do anything stupid, would they? No, no. They wouldn't look at these yellow gold-plated 925 sterling silver head pins, 40 millimeters in diameter, 20 in the pack. They wouldn't look at these and say, "Oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that below below a fiver." Would they? No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't be stupid. Yes, they would. It's exactly. All right, Ollie, we know it's Black Friday continued. 
continued. Well done, everyone. £4.95p for 20 precious metal head pins. Oh, my word. The web and the phone are going absolutely nuts. Now, isn't it nice to have a stampede on the phone lines uh, rather than an actual stampede? You're not going to get trampled to death. You're not going to get you're not going to get pushed and shoved and get poked in the eye. Don't worry. You're not going to have to wrestle anyone for these. You, all you need to do is just give us a call on our free phone number um, and give us a call or get involved on our website on jewelrymaker.com and just click. Yeah, buy now. Buy now. These have been are mine. These have been are mine. I mean, when you get them home, you can hold them aloft and say, these have been are mine, if you really want to. I don't want to get involved with the whole, with the whole kind of, um, you know, the whole, oh, I just hate that frenzy, that frenzy mm. thing. You end up buying stuff that you don't really need, you don't really want. People it's snatching horrible. things from other people. You do feel like you have to um, buy it, don't you? And it was so sad, I thought, that there were, you know, during Thanksgiving, which is um, obviously an American festival, it should be a day, it should be a day of kind of being with the family and kind of enjoying each other's company and kind of giving thanks and all that kind of lovely stuff and eating food and, you know, just having a lovely family day. And there are people there queuing up outside shops. Oh, no. It's so sad, isn't it? Yeah, because in America, the, the shops basically are closed on Thanksgiving. So I think they, the sort of, the onus now is let's get as many people in as possible because we've lost, oh, <coughs> we've lost a one day me. shopping. It's sad, isn't it, really, in some respects? Yeah, I just, oh... Anyway, right, okay. Sandra in Lancashire says, um, Hi, all lovelies. Those pendants with, uh, with a locked bedroom. Oh, pe pendants. <laughs> I was like, you what? Those parents with a locked bedroom probably had their own fridge in there to keep food away from their son. They eat everything. Love, Sandra, with three sons. <laughs> yeah, tell you what. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Teenage boys, they'll go through kind of loaves of bread. They won't just make two pieces of toast. It's a whole loaf of bread, isn't it? They won't just have a glass of milk. It's three pints of milk. I know. I remember when my son was at university, when I used to visit, you know, university oh, accommodation. Don't. And, you know, under the beds, you could see sandwiches that have completely curled oh, into a total that's circle. disgusting. You know, and it's sort of, um, they think they're hoarding it, you know, <laughs> but they're not. They're just letting it. Ugh. That's really rank, isn't it? Terrible. Uh, Nick from Bridgen says, uh, uh, children don't need Christmas presents, do they? Mama needs gems. Well, yeah, Nick. You know, there we go. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think, I, th I think, I think Black Friday deals. You can get some absolutely amazing deals, like the deals you're going to be getting today. I just think it's, I just think it's really, really. Oh God, I, I, blimey! I just think it's really. Um, oh goodness me! It's just quite barbaric, isn't it? Seeing people kind of shoving people out of the way. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Anyway, well done. Four ninety-five, everyone. Brilliant deal. Promo the parrot doll. Promo the parrot doll. Dion, when do you go away on holiday? Thursday next week. When are you back? 17th. Dion, producer Dion, is going away next week. She's not going away to Scarborough or to, or to, or to, or to, or to anywhere in the UK. No, no, no. She's going to Miami. Miami. And Mexico. And the Cayman Islands. Mm, lovely. going on a cruise oh dear can you bring us something nice back can you please please how many of you are going eight of you eight girls oh my word can you imagine that <laughs> this gorgeous uh, genuine gemstone chain of peridot is going to be coming your way a little bit later on in the show. 925 selling silver chain with the most astonishing quality peridot. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? I've never been to the Cayman Islands. I've never been to Miami and I've never been to Mexico. Have you, Linda? I've been to Miami. Have you? I haven't been to the other. Oh, I, I've just touched on Mexico at oh. sort of the border, you know, oh. by Tijuana. Yeah. Oh, lovely. When you go to San Diego, you're only about 80 miles. I think it's 80 miles, perhaps even less. Love to go to Mexico. Love to go to Mexico. Right, well done everyone. Right, okay, next, on this, which side? To the right, to the right. Okay, rainbow moonstone, everyone. Now, um, Linda, you were looking at this one earlier on, mm, weren't you? You I were know. eyeing this strand I know. up. I was watching um, all the sort of um, colours that were bouncing off of the Ethiopian opal. 
and then my eye shot to exactly the same phenomena with a slightly different uh, tones in the moonstone which is doing exactly what the opal did isn't it gorgeous <laughs> this is rainbow moonstone you have this beautiful almost crackly white background to this gem and this incredible amount of shiller coming out of this strand these are individually hand faceted rainbow moonstones and oh my word the blues and on some of these greens and yellows and peaches coming out of these absolutely gorgeous isn't that just stunning just delicious quality absolutely delicious quality now um this is uh, love says emma love i love it just one word one word will do why use 50,000 muslin? One will do. Love. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Look at those colours. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Rainbow Moonstone hand faceted top drill drops. This is the price point you should be paying. Really? $14.95? That looks like a bargain as price to me. It's not, the, it's not your price point today. We're going to go lower. 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 995 <laughs> Black Friday continued. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Now, you know you were looking at those opals earlier on, Linda, and you were saying, yep, yeah, earrings, that's the best way to go with these. What about these? Yeah, well, I think, same. I think, I think the same, to be so honest. I. But um, if you don't want to do that, they will make the most amazing uh, sort of centre pendant, uh, just, just on a chain again. Mm. Um, tassel drop, waterfall drop. These would work well on your bag charms as well, wouldn't they? They would. They, they absolutely would. Yeah. Um, but I can, I can really, really, really see them as a tassel, perhaps with um, a pearl head. You know what I mean? Oh, nice idea. And the, the, the waterfall of... Because, uh, you know, when a waterfall falls, it's got all the colours of, of light passing through it, which Doesn't is what's it? happening with that, with that moonstone. It is absolutely gorgeous moonstone. I mean, it's 9.95. Um, uh, this isn't. This is not a new strand, so it is limited in stock. I've got loads of people coming through for this. You need to start checking your baskets out. I've got uh, Pam. I've got Kyoko. I've got Mary, Linda, Sarah, Emma. You've got uh, Jackie. You've got to check your baskets out. I've got loads of you with this in your basket. Please, please, please do check this out as quick. Christine and Kat as well. You need to check your basket out as well, lovely. I've got loads of people coming through to get this. Lisa and sorry, love this so much. She's come through to get three of these. Well done, love. Well, no, no, I'm not surprised. Yeah, 9 95 for quality moonstone like this. Oh, well done. Shaleen, you need to check your basket out. So does Anonymous in Yorkshire and Anonymous in London as well. Please, please, please do check your baskets out because I've got loads of people snapping this gorgeous strand up. Dr. Rose has come through for this as well. And Cherry in Essex. Well done. Dr. Rose, Dr. Rose, call in Dr. Rose, Dr. Rose, Dr. Rose, get up now. Oh, Aqua. What was it? <laughs> no, it was Aqua. Do you not remember that that, that group, Aqua? Mm, Are they oh, Swedish no, or something? They sound it. I'm a Bobby Cat and a Bobby Pot. I'm glad I missed him. You're obviously not hip hop and happening like uh, like I am, Linda. No, to um, be fair. I could probably do the hip. I don't think I could do the hop, <laughs> but I'm definitely happening. <laughs> like I do the hip replacement, but uh, yeah. <laughs> hip hop and happening. <laughs> oh dear me! Right, okay. Rhodolite garnet, all the way from India. Oh my word, an absolutely beautiful quality of genuine gemstones here. Uh, this is totally natural garnet. Rhodolite garnet is gonna give you more of a purpley color rather than a red quality. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, tends to be a little bit lighter in color than some of the red garnet that we get here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. Um, so you get to see that, you get to appreciate that color a little bit more. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? Again, all individually hand faceted drops here. Now, garnet with white pearls. There is nothing more simple. There is nothing purer than 
red garnet with white pearls. It's like the ultimate combination. It's just beautiful. These are wonderful gemstones, aren't they? All of them top drilled, all of them entirely natural. 65 carats in total. Like I say, this is not a brand new strand. So limited, limited, limited quantity available. Now, this is your price point today. 18 pounds, 95p. Well, it should be a price. It's not going to be, though. We're going to take it down nice and low for you. 18.95. Black Friday continue. Don't forget, everyone, you're going to get some superb deals on today's show. What is that? What kind of a reduction in price? £9.95p for road light, Indian road light garnet. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my word. It actually looks a bit like Nactamunda road light garnet. It's just wonderful, isn't it? It's got those kind of colours, those kind of tones in it. Nactamunda red like garnet not even being mined anymore. It's so rare. And actually, that is mined not too far from Marissa, actually. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Well done. Lots of you checking your baskets out now. Well done. Lots of webinars coming through for this. Hillary, Hillary from County Durham's come through to get two of these. Honestly, when we, when we start to bring you strands which aren't brand new, so they've got a limited quantity, it gives us almost a license to slash the prices. So it should be 18 95 And when it was launched, it was 18 95 Now, now, it's 9 95 yeah, now it's under a tenner. Sometimes you've just got to be in the right place at the right time, haven't you? You've got to be in that right place at the right time. When you get something which is absolutely beautiful and you know other people have paid more than that for this incredible strand. And rightly so. It's, it's rare. It's natural. It's rhodolite garnet. And we've just taken the last few chances down to just £9.95. Uh, Leslie, who has, uh, uh, Leslie's come through and uh, multi-bought this as well. I do have a few multi-bidders here, so do make sure that you check your baskets out. Mandy, Sue, uh, sorry, Mandy, Sue, Carol, Julie, Anita as well. You all need to check your baskets out. Well done. Rhodolite garnet, natural rhodolite garnet, all the way from India for less than a tenner. Karen as well. And compared to the kind of price points we used to have to charge for garlic when we first got it in stock, you know, this strand would be... Well, we wouldn't have been able to source a strand like this, would we? No, no, we wouldn't. No, no. it was a long time since till we got rhodolite garnet. The difference being is the fact that um, it's got that glow. It's got that clarity, hasn't it? The Absolutely, rhodolite. Yeah. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you get that glow passing through it. Um, it's stunning to make flower petals with. Yeah, definitely. Um, for wiring as well. So uh, it is amazing. Anybody who bought that last kit as well, that works superbly oh, with, the Arisa just, garnet, with the Arisa you know. garnet. Yes. Yeah, you would really confuse that. Whatever you made that, you would really confuse that with ruby. Yeah, to yeah you really would do. You? Yes, yeah. definitely. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done. I've got so many people still coming through for this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous strand of road like garnets here. Well done. Jackie in the West Midlands has just been multi -buying. So Cecilia in Cheshire. Well done. Every single one of you who's coming through for this today. Well done. Genuine road like garnet there. And, and you know what? Three, four years ago, we wouldn't have been able to bring you road like garnet. If we could bring you garnet, they would have been rounds or faceted rounds. We wouldn't have been able to bring you this kind of quality of faceting. And the price points for those kind of strands would have been between 20 and 30 pounds, there or thereabouts. Today, 9 95 for hand-faceted, rare, natural road like garnet. Amazing. Sorry, which number, Livy? Number four! I think you'll find <laughs> these... Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to jump on the phone lines for these because they're jump, jump rings. Black plated copper twisted jump rings. Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ollie, that was your joke, sorry. I was responsible for nicking Ollie's rubbish joke there. <coughs> Check it out. Black color coated um, uh, jump rings here. Black color coated uh, copper jump rings absolutely gorgeous they are twisted as well um you can see that texture on them can't you have we got a picture of these it shows the twist element to these ollie there. oh look at that lovely picture it's a nice photo there thanks a lot for that kerry lovely so twisted jump rings here now you can use these in a number of different ways you can use them as um little spacer beads but do you know how they look really, really beautiful? If you wanted to make maybe a really fine Eslon thread macrame bracelet and have, this, and have just one of these set in the center with your macrame coming off this side and that side and just have this as like a central piece. How beautiful is that gonna look? 
They're really lovely decorative jump rings, these, aren't they? Yeah, uh, they Linda? really, really are. Um, again, you can use your everyday jump rings. You know, your plain ones, you can use those in between and link them together. And to be honest, the silver with that black plated copper looks amazing. Yeah. It really sparkles, yeah. that does. Um, and a pair of earrings that sort of more or less chain mail together but using the uh, the plain ones in between is phenomenal yeah i bet it is it, is, it really really is that kind of contrast yeah, of yeah, the yeah. shiny Absolutely. metal with this deep dark quality mm. Great for steampunk as well, if you like steampunk jewelry. Absolutely brilliant for steampunk. Any kind of industrial chic kind of jewellery or steampunk, absolutely wonderful. Now, I'd see to make you aware of something. You are going absolutely bananas for these on the web and on the phone lines. So there's so many people multi-buying these. Frankie, uh, who's one of our guest designers, uh, Frankie Gabriel, just, uh, uh, just, uh, just multi-bought this deal for you today. Absolutely amazing. Andrew and Kent's got four lots of these. Betty in West Yorkshire's got two. Judith in Cumbria. Judith in the Scottish Borders. You've all multi-bought as well. Betty in West Yorkshire, you've been multi-buying. Well. Loads of people multi-buying. Karen in Oxfordshire has been multi-buying as well. Right, we've got to bring your price on the screen. I've got so many people coming through for these. Here we go. $7.95 for a hundred of these jump rings oh <gasps> ah fran uh from london says uh use with gold silver jump rings for chain melt lovely idea really lovely idea i think using them with your precious metal or your plated jump rings absolutely gorgeous as linda suggested you know it's really going to break up the darkness the blackness sandra and sarah's been multi-buying so it's anonymous in somerset oh my word so many people are multi-buying Sorry, are they open or closed? Uh, they are closed jump rings. I'm fairly certain of it anyway. Can't see a cut on them. Yes, they're all closed. Yeah, they're closed. Well done, everyone. Loads of people coming through. Um, Frankie, who's one of our guest designers. Frankie, if you get a second and you feel like texting in, if you, if you can, um, what are you going to be using these for, please, Frankie? Julie from Bristol's been multi-buying. So June in Merseyside. Michelle in Neathport uh, Talbot's been multi-buying as well. Loads of people coming through. Well done. Do add these onto your order. Less than 100 chances left. Oh my word, I love that texture quality, a hundred in each one of these packs. So many people multi-buying for this. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? 34, oh, goodness me, where did that quantity go? My word, Catherine from Lancashire has been multi-buying. So this is what happens when people start multi-buying these kind of deals, the quantity just disappears. Just disappears before your eyes. Philip in the Vale of Glamorgan has been multi-buying as well. Oh my word. And I'm just I'm just referencing the people who are multi-buying. Which is a little bit naughty of me, but it just, just shows you how many people are multi-buying. Amazing, aren't they? Oh lovely. Frankie, our guest designer. One of our guest designers says, Steampunk Carol! <laughs> Steampunk Carol! Uh, LOL, they are yummy. She always, always puts exclamation marks after her text. Um, it's it's become a bit of a thing now. Um, whenever she sees so anything on the show that she reckons is good for steampunk she just sends us out saying steampunk carol uh so there we go well done everyone <laughs> oh frankie uh lee in kent says morning carol and linda my son has gone to washington usa to visit his girlfriend and was given money to get his dad the top of the range ipad oh no what on black friday Right, okay, it says, when he went to the store, he was asked what he wanted and they told, and, and, and told that they only had two, but because he was British, they would let him have one from the stock with an extra $100 off the Black Friday price. Whoa. That's, that's where you can use your nationality to really... So... So it sounds like they had it fairly well organised at the Apple store. Other, other brands are available like Microsoft and um, Dell. Um, but, you know, that, that's, um, that's really well organised. So they clearly had people saying, what would you like? That, I think that's what they need to do with Black Friday at, at shops anyway, to stop people just being stampeded and, and, and you know, fights. It's Christmas. Stop fighting. Um, you know, what it is. See, people kind of wrestling over televisions and things oh it's dreadful come on people come on people anyway can't wait for cyber monday goodness me bonkers isn't it okay um <laughs> there we go now this next kit again should be a boutique really it's called pink 
Vespa. Did you name this cat, Linda? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't whisper a lot, do I? No. no. There are many words I'd mm, use to describe your tone of voice. Mm. A whisper is not no. one of them. Shrill. Sounds like a bird feed. What, shrill? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! There was a there was a video that I watched today on Facebook, and it said and it, and it was of this owl, and it said underneath, and it's, I'm only laughing because I can totally relate to it. This is you when you're trying to get someone's attention when you're drunk, and it's this owl just going, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> this kit is all about the pearls. The jewellery that Linda has made with this kit is absolutely mesmerising. Sorry. Now, I've got something very interesting to tell you in a moment. Well, I think it's interesting. But first, I'm going to show you the gemstones in this kit. Ollie says, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> hey, come on, I do have some relatively interesting stories. My boring. My boring. Everyone's just gone quiet. OK, double strand of African aquamarine, probably from Nigeria, one of the best um, sources in Africa. Absolutely beautiful quality of aquamarine here. Beautiful little genuine freshwater culture pearls. Look at these. Beautiful genuine freshwater culture pearls, which are four by two millimeters. Baby pink genuine freshwater culture pearl nuggets. Baby pink genuine freshwater culture pearl nuggets. Baby pink genuine freshwater culture pearl baroque size these are enormous these are approximately 11 by 10 millimeters they're huge aren't they huge okay genuine freshwater culture pearls again very large indeed roughly eight by seven millimeter in diameter i think they're slightly larger than that but anyway um nice and big lovely ringed pearls some of these and a strand of multicolour genuine freshwater culture pearls around about the same size, around about um, eight by seven. Now, in this kit, one, two, three, four, five, six strands of pearls. A double strand of aquamarine. Monofilament beading thread and elastic. 118 silver plated copper findings. Here they are. Beautiful, beautiful um, teardrop top head pins. Aren't they gorgeous? Fran says, oh my heavens, uh, those strands would just sit on my shelf as they are. Yeah, do you know what? Good call, good call. 118 silver plated copper finds. Here's another one of your finds for you with your extender chains and your ribbon ends and your S hooks. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, and there's something else as well. 10 meters of 0.4 millimeter gauge silver colored copper wire. Now, the other night, Thursday evening, I went to a, a do, like a Christmas party. It was actually a diamond jubilee party um, for this local jewelers. My husband's done a bit of business with them in the past, so we're invited to their Christmas do, their kind of um, celebration do. And um, I think there were about four or 500 people there. There were lots of different cabinets of jewellery there. There was some antique jewellery there. There was um, some emerald jewellery, which was absolutely astonishing. There were lots of diamonds. There were some tanzanites and sapphires. And there was also a pearl cabinet as well. I went up to the pearl cabinet and I started talking to the gentleman behind the cabinet about the pearls in, in the cabinet. Some of the pearls they had were absolutely gigantic. They were South Sea pearls. They were round about almost kind of 17 millimetres in diameter. They were enormous. 
One of the necklaces they had was quite a long necklace. It was probably, it'd probably be down to about there, to about your breastbone. Um, so a nice long neckline piece. The pearls were enormous. They were averaging seven, I reckon about 17 millimeters in size, huge. That pearl necklace was 42,000 pounds. 40, of course I bought two. No, 42,000 pounds. Now that made me think about what Jan, uh, and what she will do is she will buy uh, beautiful quality pearls from Jewelry Maker. She will then add in other gemstones, some of them precious gemstones like emeralds and tanzanite, some of them semi-precious gemstones, and she will make sets of jewelry. She will sell that set of jewelry for maybe, oh sorry, she will sell that pearl necklace that she made with uh, pearls and emeralds in for around about 130 pounds. She's in negotiations with the jewellers at the moment who are thinking of selling her pieces of jewellery for her on her behalf. They reckon they can double that price. They reckon they could sell it for double that price. Now, when we've got a kit like this, which let's face it, this is pretty much a boutique. I think we should scrap the name kit for this because it should be a boutique, as should the first kit today. Um, you've got six strands of pearls here. Now, even at jewellery maker price points what kind of prices do you reckon these pearl strands should be well this largest strand here i think that should be what 17 between 17.95 and 19.95 this strand here definitely 14.95 17.95 this one here exactly the same this one here maybe 14.95 12.95 uh, this one here is pr might you might even be able to get this for below a tenner and that one there about 12 pounds uh, 12 to 14 pounds Then of course you've got the aquamarine then you've got the findings then you've got the um, the wire and the um, and the threading pack Please don't think for one second. That's what I think these pearls are worth because I don't at all I know for a fact you could sell um, these pearls on for much 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 money than uh, much 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 more money than I've just quoted the deal you are going to get today for six strands of genuine freshwater cultured pearls, aquamarine, findings, threading pack, wire, should be over £55. Today, £34.95. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just incredible? Any one of those strands of pearls made into a necklace with precious metal findings, that could be a 40, 50, 60 pound pearl necklace. And please don't just take my word for it. Don't just take my word for it. Get this kit home, make some jewelry from it and go and get it independently, um, independently valued. Some jewelers will charge you quite a lot to get your jewelry valued. They'll charge you kind of um, a certain amount. Other jewelers will charge you a certain percentage of what they value the jewelry at. Um, and, other, and you might find some other jewelers um, charge you very, very little indeed. It is worth getting independent valuations, especially when you're gonna be working with gemstones like pearls, because I mean, look at these pieces here. The colours, the quality, the design quality is absolutely exceptional, isn't it? It's just wonderful. And do you know what? None of these neckline pieces I would ever consider selling for thirty-four ninety-five. They would all be way, way, way over that. I mean, that for me, Linda, right here, this is, that's got to be a 60, 70 pound necklace. Oh, yes, absolutely. Easily. Without a shadow of a doubt. Look at the yeah. colour combination. No, it's, it's, it's beautiful, Linda. The gemstones are wonderful. I love the design qualities in here as well. It just shows you how the different shaped pearls lend themselves to different uh, parts of the design. Again, stunning piece. Look at this with the tassels on there as well. Just gorgeous. This piece on the end, very classic, isn't it? Very, yeah, mm. incredibly so. Incredibly wearable, that one. Well, I think they're all com incredibly wearable, but that one, yeah, that, uh, you could just make that without the drops on and it would be stunning. Mm. Do you know what, Linda? If you if you actually break this down, so forget forget the aquamarine, just look at the pearls, six strands of pearls. If you break that price down and you forget the findings, you forget the wire, you forget the aquamarine, you forget the threading pack, that works out to five pounds eighty per strand of pearls. Everything else is free. Oh gosh, that to, that is bonkers, isn't it? Even for those large ten by eleven millimeter pearls, if you mm. discount. If you discount the aquamarine, the findings, the wire, the threading pack, that's £5.80 per strand of pearls and everything else is free. This kit's going to sell out, obviously. Look at that beautiful bracelet. Isn't that stunning? It's jam-packed. What size is that space of you've used there? Yes, one of those ones that's it. in the findings pack just as the centre. Isn't that gorgeous? 
just beautiful. Right, um, a text message just come through, uh, Linda sent, uh, from Sarah in Cheshire. Linda, I think the first necklace shown, aquamarine and pearl, is the most beautiful thing I've seen you make. So very Thank pretty. You. Oh, Sarah, that's such a lovely text. The, um, it's the gemstones working together, you know, um, that aquamarine is such, I hate to say aquamarine is a backdrop, but it's a great backdrop for pale pink pearls, isn't it, aquamarine? It really is. Yeah, gorgeous. It's stunning. Oh, it's lovely. We've had a text in um, asking, um, um, somebody asking if the pearls are dyed. Yeah, um, uh, pretty much all pearls are going to be dyed um, unless they're, unless they're going to be Tahitian pearls, which don't tend to be dyed. I mean, they can be dyed with, um, with volcanic ash, actually, but um, 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 the, the majority of pearls you will get nowadays will be dyed. Yeah, you don't get pearls naturally this colour. They have to be dyed. You don't get pearls which are pink naturally. Pearls tend to be, um, pearls tend to be um, either a creamy colour or a white colour naturally. Um, and Tahitian pearls, you know, you can get Tahitian pearls which are that beautiful deep Tahitian colour. But pretty much all other pearls are going to be dyed. Now, technique. Let's okay. get on to that. Well, the necklace... Um, the, the, the necklace that's like really heavy on, on, on gemstone. Um, we'll just show you how to do the flower and then if Carol tells me I've got enough time, we can just show that quickly. I think you should make, no, 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 Linda. Can you make the entire necklace, please? Okay. Actually, it didn't take that long because basically it's a tiara a twist. Over. No, it doesn't. It's a tiara really? twist and it's sort of making a vine, really. Um, but first of all, I made the flowers. Okay, so um, literally just pop on to probably about 18 inches uh -huh. of, your, of your wire pop uh, one of the larger baroque pearls on and then take the leave a little tail of about four or five inches and bring that behind and then simply as you meet the two wires together do a little twist okay now don't worry about seeing that there it really has an effect even yeah. if that comes on the on, on the front of a design which you don't have to because you can just twist it around because it's on wire but that actually looks quite effective put um, the excess out yeah. of the way and then take another pearl and these baroques are fantastic um, because of their gorgeous gorgeous organic shapes and they do tend to be teardrop form so you can see that the teardrop the base of the teardrop then comes into the center there and then twist that around again now using the excess hold that in um <coughs> excuse me hold that in your left hand or your right hand whichever um you know, whichever one that you that you use predominantly. Spit it out, love. Yeah, whichever one you use predominantly. It was the word predominantly I was searching for, beg your pardon. And then take the longer length of wire and wrap that through the centre. So you're incorporating the shorter bit as well. Okay. And then as it's wire, you can just push that up a little bit and form it. And then um, get another pearl and pop that on in exactly the same way. Let that drop down to the centre rather than working it onto the um, remainder of the short part is just wind it around the center okay push them out of the way <coughs> bring it over to um, the side mm -hmm. and then pop on another or on this one you yeah. bring that round and again twist that around the center oh, that lovely. way you then now you see that one there that's got the wire I can mm -hmm. flip that round so mm -hmm. now we've got that sort of um, flash shape um, like that and then on the le the long length of wire keep the short length there don't chop it off at this stage on the long length of wire you can then pop on uh, if i can find the hole one of the aquamarine little nuggets and again just work that around doesn't really matter where it sits because you're going to pop another one on basically making a fantasy flower these aren't botanically correct so you don't have to worry about anything like that you just want to make it pretty again pop that around and bring it around the back mm -hmm. and then we'll just pop one more on again you can build that center up to be um, as proud from the from the flower as you want it to be or keep it in nice and snug so let it drop down and then wind it around again and then bringing the wire to the back mm -hmm. with also the shorter length that you've used trim down your excess and keep that piece of wire you might use it to make perhaps a little nugget flower yeah and then simply take the wire between finger and thumb and just twist the flower itself to form a stem on a tiara twist, okay? And then take your round nose pliers and form a, um, a wrapped loop. So we just push away, flick the wrist round, bring it in, take the pliers out, and then as snugly as you can, bring it around the base of the pliers and bring it around as many times as you can before you just have enough left to snip off. That'll give you a nice strong and the tiara twisted oh, round of the necklace, the round the ne yeah. rest of the necklace. 
So the rest of the next really is take as long a length of wire that you can work with mm -hmm. um, and then double it. But don't worry if you don't have enough to, to continue the whole necklace because you just wire on as you go. Oh, You've got lots okay. of opportunity to wire on. So literally um, double it so that you've got two ends of wire to work on. Now I've used the multi-pearl strands. Um, pop that and let that drop into the very center and then holding on to the wire. Uh, tiara twist is always much better if you hold the wire and twist with the gemstone. So just a couple of twists to firm that up and then on one of the wires again um, using you can use any obviously you can use I've used I think most of the strands even the tinies I've used on that, that necklace. Yeah. Then just let that next pearl stand a little bit proud of that twist. Yeah. Bring that back to the main length okay. and pinch in and twist again oh. and then bring the what you've now got the two pearls there obviously yeah, lovely. so now just consolidate that a little bit by bringing in another twist mm -hmm. <coughs> and then excuse my craggy voice <coughs> and <laughs> husky and then bring on another pearl that drops it down ever so slightly yeah um, and it just creates this really nice um, well, obviously you're growing the necklace so again bring that excess back to the main stem and twist lovely okay yeah. and then just con consolidate it all by twisting down just really bulk that up mm. with, with with any of the gemstones mm -hmm. in the kit really bulk that up and then when you come to the point where you want to add your flower mm. then literally take the length of wire that you're working let me move it over i beg your pardon take the length of wire that you're working on okay and just pop it on the one side bring it down Again, holding on to that flower, twist down, okay? And then get another one onto either of those sides, as close as you can to the flower, okay? Because this is a very closely woven necklace, as close as you can to the flower, just to give that flower a little bit of extra support. Mm -hmm. And just continue like that all the way around. And just let it form itself. I mean, you can't go wrong with the, with the pearls and the gemstones. You can't go wrong. You'll just probably get something slightly different, but you can't go wrong. It'll be Gorgeous. beautiful. Isn't it stunning? You can really see that design taking shape, can't yeah. you? Um, I've only got 19 of this kit left. How many of these do we have in baskets at the minute, um, Dion? Tw I've got 20 people with this kit in baskets at the minute. So please do check your baskets out because I've only got 19 of this kit left. So if you'll check your baskets out now, one person's going to miss out. Um, so please, please, please do check your baskets out. Um, Thirty-four ninety-five for a for a kit with six strands of pearls and your aquamarine and your findings and your wire. It's absolutely gorgeous, and of course your threading pack. I mean that is definitely got to be a that's got to be a that's got to be an eighty-pound necklace right there. Yeah. When you say it's nice and simple to make and it's reasonably quick to make, but still the amount of pearls in that, the amount of yeah. aquamarine in that. Oh, it's worth every penny of that, if not. Oh, I think it all depends where it was. If it was in a high street jeweller shop, you'd probably you'd be well into three figures. Mm. So it all depends on, on where it's been sold. But it's um it's, it's a fabulous little technique and it really works well with chips and pearls. Was the aquamarine added separately? You mean to the design? No, 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 sorry, no, I should have mentioned that. No, exactly the same way as I added the pearls. So instead of adding a pearl, add three or four of the aquamarine chips and twist in as well, keeping your twist very close together to the main working line. Lovely. So I've still got a lot of you with this in your baskets. You've got to check those baskets out. I've got 17 of this kit left. It is going to sell out, let's face it. Uh, Jennifer from the West Midlands says, Linda, that is absolutely beautiful. Love from Jenny in Mosley. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you very much. Fantastic. I love Mosley. Uh, fantastic. Right. Um, we'll see you at the Ball of Fame. <laughs> Lovely, I've got number 71 here, uh, which is from Little Raw Materials. Really pleased with this little pendant, only four centimetres tall. Oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't uh, it? And that's from Anne in uh, Bexhill. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's so intricate. Best of luck, darling. 
<laughs> I've got another one here using lapis. It just shows you um, it must be the in thing. Mm. Um, I mean, the, the challenge I'm working with is coming up beautifully as well. And Good. this is from Lapis Lazuli, really? from what I can see. And it's from Christine in Ipswich. And Christine says, hi to everybody at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a necklace made from Jewelry Maker's lapis, lazul las lapis lazuli trapeziums and rounds. And it was snapped up at a charity fair last Wednesday. Good luck to everybody in the draw. That's regards from Christine in Ipswich. I bet it was. I bet it was, Christine. I'd be interested to know mm. how much you charged for that. You probably should have chose more. Absolutely. Number 72, lovely clasps, lovely simple designs from... Rosalyn, uh, who says, hi, you lovely people at Jewelry Maker. Oh, hi, Rosalyn. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Two bracelets, I think blue and white pearl looks quite nautical. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All pearls and findings are from Jewelry Maker. The other bracelet is hematite, uh, which looks quite colourful. The clasp on that one is from my stash. Um, thanks for all the laughs. Carol with all her jokes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and Jenny with her endless good humour and all the great inspiration from your brilliant designers. Been in a lot of pain recently, so enjoy the banter on your programme. Good, Rosalind. I'm glad we're a good tonic for you, darling. And best of luck to you. You're number 72. And this is absolutely beautiful as mm. well. This is number 70 and it's from Trish. Trish says, hi, all you happy people. I'm so glad I have you all in my life. You make me smile every day. I just love wire work. I made this with the lovely pink wire from Joy Maker, of course, and I made a thinner knit to go inside it, but it was quite difficult to thread it through, but you obviously got there in the end. Um, I've added some pearls around the cabochon of pale grey and dark grey. I thought the grey and pink looked really nice together. Oh. Hope you like it. My friend has had it off me as she <laughs> loves it. Well, um, I Good. hope she literally paid you for it. And that's all my love to you all from Trish in Wales. That's beautiful, Trish. Thanks, Trish. And I've got number 73 here, which is the last one. Lovely uh, monochrome design here from Sarah Edgar. Uh, good morning, all at Joy Maker. My favourite make this week, a full set made with magnesite, cabochons and chips. I use black wire and black coloured uh, copper findings uh, to show off the white of the gemstones. Please, I bought a few of these. This is the, uh, this one is all mine. Good luck to all in the draw this week. Kith. Fantastic. You're number 73 and well done, Sarah. Lovely oh, monochrome design. Monochrome designer. never, ever dates. It's, it? it's gorgeous. Right, Peridot gemstone chain coming up after the break. Set into 95 sterling silver. You've got your very own uh, faceted uh, strand of gorgeous Peridot here. It's really, really, really limited stock, though. It's going to sell out super quickly. Come and get festive with a chance to make a holly and berry or Christmas tree ring with Louise Jakobsen. You'll also learn how to scale up a design to make napkin ring holders with thicker wire gauges. This is a very exciting course and will leave you wanting more. Also included in this amazing workshop is a Christmas style buffet and refreshments, use of all relevant tools, a tour of the studios, a visit to the Gemporia Museum and a chance to visit the jewellery maker's shop. Book your place now. For more information, contact the call centre on 0800 644 655. Join our guest designer Mark Smith on his Makes for Men DVD. You'll experience many different techniques specifically designed for creating men's jewellery. This DVD will cover how to make a slip knot, railroad bracelet, metal with leather techniques, cufflinks, a wraparound bracelet and a ball chain bracelet. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Join the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties, and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker.
as peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. Oh, we've all been going on about this gorgeous chain this morning. It's an absolute beauty. Um, we've only recently started to bring you these gorgeous chains. Um, these are all 925 sterling silver, precious metal quality that you're going to be getting here. Um, set with the most awesome, awesome, awesome peridot. Totally natural gemstone. You don't get peridot in any other colour other than green. Um, and it's unmistakably peridot, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Guess how far under, under the ground this forms? Can it, does anyone know that? Guess how far under the ground this forms? Deep. It's not in metres, it's in miles. Three. <laughs> Three miles, that's right, Glenn. Did you actually know that or was that a lucky guess? Or was it a guess? Yeah, it's like diamonds, isn't it? Yeah, same as diamonds, three miles under the ground. Isn't that amazing? There's no other gemstone that forms like that. Three miles under the ground, that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. You know when they talk about when they talk about being under the sea and the kind of the amount of pressure per cubic inch, um, you know, this is three miles. Yes, Ben, it probably would crush your skull. It's a lovely thing to think about. Anyway, this is going to sell out. 95 sterling silver chain with natural peridot in it. I've got loads and loads of people coming through. We're going to have to give you a prize. 27.95, done. It's going to go. Well done. And it's one of these beautiful oval cut gemstones. Sorry, Linda, you wanted to come in and get one of these, didn't you? Oh, yeah, well. I've got um, a peridot cross. How do you make it cross? I just irritated it, it and just irritated it. Yeah. You? yeah, you've never seen a cross peridot, have you? It can be quite scary. I yeah. am a peridot. <laughs> I don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cross pendant. Yeah. Yes, I've got a pendant. Oh, um, beautiful. Um, I, I wanted to put that chain on it. I thought it would look really. Well, you can't. Now, well, it's going to sell out. You I better know. be quick. Oh. Well, can't be that Unless quick. you know any of those names on screen, you can kind of ask somebody and bribe someone. Um, yeah, they're all my best friends, all of them. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> anonymous in London, yes, of course. Anonymous, yeah. 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 Anonymous. anonymous. I'm great friends yeah. with Anonymous. Yeah. Fantastic, well done. That has sold out now. Absolutely gorgeous. Pearl Styles coming up. Sorry, sorry, night. You want, darling? We do them now. Oh, ooh. Pearl stars, everyone. Gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're really cute, aren't they? They look like they're made out of um, marshmallows, don't they? They look really soft and squidgy. Genuine freshwater cultured uh, pearl uh, star shaped beads. They are just adorable, aren't they? Just gorgeous. They're around about 10 millimeters in diameter. I just love these. They're so cute. Go on, Linda, what would you do with these? Um, probably something similar to what I've done in my challenge, which was to see, uh, it's just I've um, started a ladder weave with mm. four of the, the, the um, Do you want to show ones. us? Yeah. Go on. The lapis ones. So there we go. So if you imagine that that done in those pearls, um, oh yeah, it would look beautiful, wouldn't it? I'll call that my twinkle, twinkle little star necklace. <laughs> Lovely. It just looks like twinkle, twinkle should look, doesn't Isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. <laughs> Actually, the lapis and and the and the pearl stars. Yes. That would look really That would look gorgeous, nice. wouldn't it? Mm. Twinkle, you twinkle, twinkle, little star. That <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> so you've got your beautiful twinkly <coughs> stars here looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, do you know what? I think I think um, uh, using these in wish bracelets. Yeah. Using these in wish bracelets would be a lovely Definitely. idea. Um, I know that Mark Smith, is one of our guest designers, says that flowers, stars and hearts are his biggest selling shapes. Um, it would be fantastic, Carol, to market that, you know, when you wish upon a star. Yeah. That where you were coming from? Exactly where oh, I was coming excellent. from. You could even well, dress up as Jimmy Cricket or whatever his name is. Yeah, that would be amazing. Oh. Couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, you could. Well, of course you could. Mine all mine, says Michelle in County Durham. Good for you. <laughs> you could even—I tell you what—I could even sing the song for them. 
You could. When you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Everything your heart desires, it will come to you. <laughs> la 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 la. Do you want to see the prize? Sorry. How is that? I thought I said, how is that postcode? How is that possible? What, the song or the prize? <laughs> the <secret>. How <laughs> is that possible? <gasps> ah. 9.95, well done, everyone. Whoa. Um, the short answer to how is that possible, in all honesty, I don't really know. Um, I know that you can get, you, you can determine the shape of certain pearls mm -hmm. by adding something to the mollusk. I'm not entirely sure though, but these are gonna be culture pearls. They're not gonna be pearls that people die for. Um, so because they're cultured pearls, um, um, I should imagine pretty much anything is possible, but the short answer is I don't really know. Um, I'll need to do a bit of research for you and ask, and ask um, Hannah Oxbury, who is our head buyer, and find out. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Stunning, stunning, stunning. Well done. Loads of people multi-buying this. Wish bracelets. Think about earrings. It, seriously, though, uh, Linda, if you were to get just two of these... Ooh, well, I don't know what that was. If you got two of these gorgeous pearls, put them into a beautiful pair of earrings, that pair of earrings instantly, because they're star shapes, mm. they're earrings you can sell for at least a fiver, aren't they? Oh, more than that, I think. Do you I think, uh, Yeah, I think so. Cultured pearls, star-shaped cultured pearls, definitely yeah. more than a fiver, um, without a doubt. And again, if you want to... Make a shooting, you know, if you get some wire oh, shooting and star. a shooting star earring oh. so that you can put that bend yes. to it. That would be fab. Lovely idea. Veronica in Gloucester says, just bought two. Too nice not to. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not come in and get two? Yeah. Quick SOS Gareth Malone need. Oh, he's the one with the, um, who does the choir, isn't he? Yeah. He started, he tried to grow a beard, didn't he? It looks awful. He shaved it off though, thank goodness. It looked dreadful. Some, some, some men just don't, you know, don't look good with a beard, do they? Who's that guy? Do you remember when George Clooney grew a beard? Do you think he looked good with a beard? Oh, he looked good with it. Suits some guys. Doesn't suit other guys. What's this fashion at the minute for, like, proper beards? No, I mean, Glenn's, Glenn, Glenn's got a beard at the minute, but it's kind of, it's kind of trimmed. Oh, yeah, I know Glenn's had a beard for years, yeah, but it's kind of trimmed. It's trimmed, yeah? What's the thing at the minute with beards, like big on Victorian beards that, that aren't trimmed? Is it Beard Sember? Is it what? Beard Sember. Beard Sember. Beard Sember. Probably. Father Christmas not, is month, it? isn't it? Yeah. That, that, does that actually exist? I love it. Gosh. Sorry, what was that? Black Danny? Friday, Beard Sember. Ma was it Movember? Cy Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Oh, I'm confused. So am I. I've seen lots of actually uh, guys walking around with... <laughs> Artists and musicians and things like that. <laughs> People who live in Shoreditch, Carol, stuff like that. that. that I'm, I'm just, I'm just, well, no. Mandy Sue says, hello. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to read that out? Yeah. Was it, was it bad? Oh, so, all right. <laughs> From 10 minutes ago. <laughs> hello, well, Carol, there is something about your singing. My, my Westy <laughs> Angus has just jumped up and started howling. Nice. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. 18 chances left. Kerry likes my singing, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, right, where are we going now? Right hand side. Yes. Earring findings. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I know what you're laughing at. So, here we go. Earring findings. <laughs> so you've got silver plated copper shepherd's hook earring findings here 50 pairs in total okay so these are precious metal plated earring findings here absolutely gorgeous quality um, they're formed really beautifully. They're manufactured really, really beautifully as well. You've got these gorgeous little, um, gorgeous little springs on the bottom of the earring finding here, with a little bead, and then you've got a little open loop as well. Um, you'll find that some earring findings, even some of the ones that we um, uh, provide you with here on Jewelry Maker, don't give you that little spring detail and that little bead quality there. So it's really lovely. It's really lovely to be able to bring those to you and to, and to you know, highlight the fact that you're going to be getting those as well. 
there's that peridot on it. Sorry, I'll show you the peridot in a second. We just bought you that peridot. I didn't even show you the necklace, sorry. Um, so 50 pairs of earring findings here. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, imagine your earring findings with the pearl stars that we just bought you. They were 9 95 weren't they? Yeah, that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Simple, easy. You've got enough, uh, you've got enough uh, dozens of pairs of earrings here, haven't you? Absolutely, 100%. Now, how important is it, Linda, for you to have a big stash of earring findings? Well, it's really, really important. A, because earrings are probably, for people that sell the jewellery, yeah. um, it's probably their greatest seller, mm. you know, volume-wise. Um, they don't take too long to make, so consequently you can make a pair of earrings in three to four minutes um, upwards. So consequently, you, because you can make them quickly, you need to have a lot of earring findings in your Absolutely. stash because you'll get through them quickly. Absolutely. Not to mention which, you know, if you've got a strand of gorgeous stars and you want to do uh, make earrings out of the whole strand, you're going to need a lot of earring findings in one go. And once you're in the zone, once you're in the zone, goodness me, um, you want to make as many pieces as you can. Earrings are actually really surprisingly quick to make as well. If 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 you're looking for um, if if you have. Um, if you have a customer who's uh, buying a necklace or a bracelet off you and they say, oh, do you know, we've got earrings to match and maybe you don't have any made up, say, yeah, bear with me, two minutes, I'll make them for you. Come back in two minutes, go and get a cup of coffee or whatever. Come back in two minutes, I'll have them made for you. You know, fantastic. And, uh, you know, that's a really attractive thing to customers, isn't it? You know, uh, making jewellery literally whilst, whilst, whilst they wait, you know, just a couple of minutes. Um, right, great price point for you today. Silver plate to copper, uh, shepherd took earring. 6 90 are you serious? Black Friday continued. Black Friday continued. But without the stampedes, without being punched in the face, without without all that horribleness, and without the negativity, just a really awesome deal. <laughs> just a really, really fantastic deal. Well done, everyone. Six pounds and 95p for your awesome silver plate to copper shepherd's hook earring findings there. 50 pairs in total, lots of people coming through there. Sorry, I've got indigestion now. I've just, oh, sorry. What, have I, I've eaten a biscuit. Mm. I know, I've eaten a biscuit. Yeah, it's not like I've eaten, I don't know, whatever. And I had a raisiny, a raisiny pancake for me this morning, didn't you I? Did? Um, they, they were lovely. Mm, really nice. Maple yeah, they were very nice. Raisin. Maple syrup on that. Oh, yeah, they would be nice with maple syrup. Hattie doesn't like pancakes. Oh, what's wrong with her? I love them. Anyway, right, so uh, 695, well done, everyone. Lots of people texting in today. Sissy from Oklahoma. The only person that looks good with a big bear is a big bear. Oh, big beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is uh, is Santa? Yeah, he does look good with a big beard, doesn't he? He's lovely. And maybe, <laughs> what's his name? What's his name? Dumbledore. Is that his name? <laughs> you know, the one from Harry Potter. It is Harry Potter, isn't it? Yeah. Harry Trotter, Dumbledore, and Hagrid. Yeah, they need to have beards as well, don't they, really? Uh, Michelle in County Durham says, maybe the guys with big beards are saving money on shaving products and buying gems instead. Maybe they are. You never, you, maybe they are. Veronica in Gloucestershire, uh, beads are tickled when they touch... <coughs> oh, beards! Beards are, tick are tickled when they touch certain plates. Right, can we take that text off screen? Veronica, that is abs think, there's absolutely no need for that. Be beards are ticklish. Ticklish, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't possibly comment. <coughs> Look at that face. Where's your mind? With the beard, to be honest. Calm down. <laughs> You're as bad as she is. <sighs> It's one of those Saturdays, isn't it? Mm, start of the party It's one season. of those days. Whenever you're yeah. here, whenever you're here, it's always <laughs> one of those days. Stephen from Hertfordshire says, Carol, your singing is truly inspirational. It inspired me to turn the volume down. <laughs> you're my favourite presenter. <laughs> as you are as mad as me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. May not be a lady, but I'm a woman. Lisa Stansfield. Been around the world, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number 14. I can't find my baby. I don't know when, I don't know why. 
Didn't she have, didn't she wear like a, 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 a beret on the side? Yeah. A jaunty angled beret. Lisa, St Lisa Stansfield. Where, where is, she, is she from Liverpool? I don't know. No. She's, definitely, she's definitely northern, isn't it? No, actually, she's not from Liverpool. She's just... Is she from Yorkshire? I don't know. Somewhere anyway, it doesn't Chile. matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You're not. Ollie, you're related to Lisa Stansfield. You're not. Are you really related to Lisa Stansfield? <laughs> really? It's just funny. It's just a random celebrity to be to be related to. Lisa Stansfield, really? <laughs> you wouldn't have thought he would have really mentioned that, would you? No. So. <laughs> okay, here we go. Black Friday continued, everyone. But then again, these are 925 Sterling Silver Eye Pins. We don't have any producers that are that are silly enough to look at this to look at this pack of 20 925 Sterling Silver Eye Pins, which are 40 millimeters in diameter, and take them all the way down to this price, do we? No, no, we don't have any producers that are that silly, do we? Do we? Do we? We do. And it's Dion. £4.95 p. Her excuse for all these kind of deals is, well, it's Black Friday continued, and I'm going on holiday next week, so I don't really care. Honestly, it's absolutely bonkers. Well done. Fiona and Southcombe Morgan. I wouldn't mind being tickled by... Oh, no, this is just awful. <laughs> by Jason, Game of Thrones, murmur, murmur, beard. Ooh, la, la. Oh, right. Fiona from Cardiff. That is enough. I don't even watch Game of Thrones. And that is just poor gentleman. Poor. Susan says, she's right though, Carol. You can get beard burn in, <laughs> in certain places if your lover has a beard. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> oh, 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 You're Carol. dreadful. Linda, oh. would you like to comment on that at all? Um, you ever had beard burn? Sounds like a good burn to me. <laughs> Does, isn't it? There are good burns and there are oh, bad, bad burns. burns. And that sounds like beard a good burn. Beard burn sounds good. <laughs> Don't knock until you tried it. <laughs> John says, uh, the best beard I saw... Oh, we really started something with the old beards today, haven't we? The best beard I saw was the one on the bloke off the sewing bee contest. Sadly, he shaved it off. No, the best beard ever was that Irish guy who was absolutely gorgeous on the Great British Bake Off. What was his name? He had a massive beard. He was absolutely gorgeous. Do you remember he left? Didn't he leave? He's the one who's... who's Baked Alaska was, um, was destroyed by that lady. That was all very odd, wasn't it? Can't remember his name, but he was, he was Irish. He was absolutely gorgeous. He had a massive beard. Ian! Yeah, that was it. Anyway, 4 95 fantastic, everyone. Uh, for 925 cents of eye pins. Uh, you do realise, Dion, these are precious metal, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I know you're going away on holiday, yeah. Gemstone chain, you can cut them down into halves and make um, lots and lots and lots of eye pins out of these. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Lots of people coming through to get twos and threes. I'm not surprised. These are precious metal eye pins at the end of the day. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Amazing, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Sorry, I just keep thinking of things. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's been a very funny show today. I'm just thinking about beards now. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, 12. <laughs> right, Ollie, I think you've said enough today. You just need to be quiet. Ollie's being very rude. He's, he's, he's overexcited today. He's definitely overexcited. Right, here we go. Gold plated. Whoa, right, okay. Right, right, right. Dion? Steady, Eddie. Steady. Precious metal findings again. Ollie, stop bringing that on screen. You're just provoking her. Right, can we just breathe and just take this a bit? Just be steady. Oh, for pity's sake. I don't know, why am I here today? 
Why am I actually here today? There's no need for myself or Linda to be here today. No, no, the kids are no. so beautiful, they, they're just going. The strands are so awesome, you don't need me to show, you just need me to just go, there you are, there's your prize, and they're gone. These kind of deals for precious, for yellow gold plated 95 selling silver jump rings. And look at the size of them. They're all nine millimeters in diameter. They're absolutely gigantic. I'd love the chance to use these, wouldn't you, Linda? Absolutely. Oh. And there's something about um, gold plated sterling silver. It's oh. so tactile. It's so, so smooth, so isn't smooth. it? Yeah. And I mean, you know, if you've got some really nice gemstones, perhaps the opals that you got earlier. Oh, yes. On the moonstone, that's, that's the one to use. I mean, don't they look fantastic as well? Exactly what you're doing there. Space beads, yeah. Gathered. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that awesome. look. You could just have a piece of black leather cord with a sliding knot on it with just all 20 of these in the middle of it and it would look like a necklace or a bracelet that would cost £100. You know, it's got that element to it. It's got that gorgeous quality to it. So many people coming through for this and multi-buying. With the opal that we bought you earlier, I've got to show you that opal again. Is there any of this opal left? No. Dia says, no way! Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it's just the most astonishing quality we're showing you on today's show. <sighs> Look at that. Because, um, you know, Linda is right. These are yellow gold plated 95 stunning silver. It just, you can feel that it is. It feels very, very smooth, very, very luxurious. And the fact these are nine millimeters in diameter. These are some of the, um, excuse me, some of the largest jump rings we can actually offer you on Joey Maker. They're huge. Marie from Dublin's got two lots. Karen from Cornwall's got two, uh, four lots. Judith from the Scottish Border's got five lots. Carmel in Hampshire's got two lots. Anne has got uh, three lots. Mary's got two lots. Uh, Amina's got two lots. Judith's got two lots. Hilary's got six lots. Carol oh. has got three lots. Anonymous in Worcestershire has got two lots. Marie, oh no, I said your name already. Yeah, you've got two lots as well. Loads and loads and loads of people have got twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes of these jump rings. I have to say, I'd probably have to come in and get five or six loads of these. Well, okay, so you've got 20 here. How many jump rings do you need to make a big jump ring uh, bracelet? You probably need between 150 and 250. Yeah. yeah. So if you came through to, it's 20 lots, so, um, sorry, it's 20 in a pack. So if you came through to get, yeah, if you come through to get six, seven, eight, nine, well, come through to get 10 packs of these. Come through to get 10 packs of these, then you know you've definitely got enough for a chainmail bracelet. You know that for certain. Why stop at 10? Why not get even more? Veronica in Gloucester says, uh, Linda was right. Sorry, hate predictive text beard. Oh, sorry, hate, <laughs> hate, hate predictive text. Beards are ticklish when they... Yes, thank you. We don't need to reiterate that. Thank you, Veronica. We, we kind of work that out. Linda, you little minx. <laughs> it's I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say she's a minx. She's just f filthy, really. Charming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You've got a you've got a dinner party coming next. Is it next week? Um, the week after. What goes on at your dinner party? Oh, you, you still don't get want to know. You absolutely do not want to know. I do. The no, last I actually time, do. The la these are the same people I have every year, right? <laughs> and then um, the one year, probably about three or four years ago, I had this coloured glass crystal chandelier over my table. Oh, no. Right. I right. went out to get the pudding in. When I came back, I just got gold. No glass on it whatsoever. They thought it was a hoot was all on the table. Oh, I'd like to decorate the table. That's, really? Yeah. How many, how, many people do, how many people are you having over? Um, there'll be six of us. Oh, They're all lovely. absolutely... It, it is, it's a, it, it really is, yeah, because it's Christmas, isn't it? So. Oh, I've, I've got, I've got Lucy Drew in. coming over for dinner tonight. Well, that's another... Well, that's going to be, that's, that's going to be off the hook, be, isn't yeah, it? Especially yeah, with yeah, Drew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dear me, it's going to be dreadful. Mind you, I've got a piano that needs moving, so hopefully Drew can help with that. You can move in tune and sing then, can't yeah, you? Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lovely. Mm. Right, fantastic. Well done, everyone. They're going to go. Rose gold plated copper crimp covers. Oh, my word. Sorry. On the, on the left or the right? On the right, right. <sighs> on the right, on the right. Crimped covers. Now, crimpy covers can be used as crimpy covers. But they also make great little spacer beads as well. I'll hold one of them up. There we go. So these are rose gold plated copper. It's like the letter C or a Pac-Man. Yeah. Okay. Depending on when you're born. Um, do you know what a Pac-Man is, uh, Kerry? 
She does know what a Batman is. That's good. That's good. When were you born? 19... 1991. I wasn't born 1991. Goodness me. No, I was born 1981. 1991. That's depressing, isn't it? Okay, so... Rose gold plated copper crimp bead covers. Now, Linda, presumably you've used these as crimp bead covers, but you've also used them as spacer beads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can close them up and then use them. You'll still get that hole through the centre, so yeah. you can use them as a spacer bead. But, you know, when you are making jewellery to sell, um, or even, do you know what, when you're making jewellery for yourself, you still want to have all the finishing touches. Of course you do. And, and that's exactly what crimp bead covers get for you. Definitely. Actually, there's nothing really attractive about a squashed crimp bead, <laughs> but once you pop your, uh, your crimp bead cover on it, then that's a whole new ball game altogether. Absolutely. Uh, Wendy from Miglin Morgan says, I've just strung these uh, with silver ones on black satin cord. Looks stunning. Yeah. See, that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier on with, um, with, with leather cord. If you get some satin cord, just put a sliding knot on it and then just thread these on, close them um, uh, nice and gently, you will have a beautiful uh, beaded quality on your, on your satin cord. Simple and easy. Really, really, really simple and easy. We're going to give you a fantastic deal on these. Are we going to show the original price? So that's, just, that's the price it is today. No. Right. We're going even lower. Eight ninety five all the way down to just six pounds ninety five p for a pack of two hundred of these beads. And all I can think of is how much, even on Jewelry Maker, even by our standards, this is a very very low price point. Because how much would two hundred spacer beads um, uh, be on Jewelry Maker on our website? Two hundred spacer beads. You're going to be getting two hundred crimp bead covers, which can be which can be made into two hundred um, um, uh, spacer beads. For £6.95p. Sarah says, uh, crimp bead covers are my uh, nemesis. Definitely needed, uh, but I need lots as I make a hash of putting them on. Oh, Sarah. Any tips on how you can any tips yeah. on how you can use them? Uh, definitely, Linda? definitely. On, if then. you take a crimp bead cover mm -hmm. and you literally use your flat nose pliers, okay? So your crimp bead cover is with wherever it happens to be. Okay, uh, you know, in, in, on your pink board or somewhere, and then you use your flat nose pliers and you just pick it up like that, square it up a little bit. All you need to do then is wherever the, the crimp is on the wire, whatever you're using, take the crimp bead cover to it, okay, like mm -hmm. that, flick the wrist, eat the crimp bead, and then compress it. Don't move the pliers, compress it as it is, gently, gently, until it's almost closed on that crimp bead, and then flick. Uh, the crimp bead up at most and then just close the final little bit so it, it's literally that sort of close it close it really slowly and then flick it over and then take the um, pliers to the other side and finish it off don't do it all in one go because if you do you will probably end up getting um, the, the lower part of the crimp bead will probably go in sooner than the upper part mm. um, so that's the way to do it always use your flat nose pliers and literally eat that crimp bead little bit of pressure and then finish it off by switching the pliers to the opening side good tip thanks for that Linda D from Corbell is texting saying uh, morning or do you get the website Black Friday discount on the show items please as it says on the website all gems and beads um, Right, okay, it's a web offer only. Uh, we need to just clarify that. However, however, the kind of discounts you're going to be getting on today's show are, well, quite a lot of them are up to 20%. More, uh, a lot of them are even more than 20%, you know, nudging kind of 50%. Some of them even better than 50% saving. Uh, we had a 45% a saving a little bit earlier on. So, you know, you are going to be getting, you are absolutely getting some incredible deals on today's show, particularly with the strands that aren't new, particularly with the deals um, uh, for um, bundles. Absolutely amazing. Sissy from Oklahoma says, what a deal. Just bought two sets. Brilliant, Sissy. Well done, darling. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I can see your name on the screen now. Well done. You were one of the first people to come through and get those. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. So your uh, copper plated... Uh, so your rose gold plated copper crimp bead covers today, six ninety five for two hundred for approximately two hundred of these. Is it two hundred? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Whoa! Well done. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them. But you know, it's, it's entirely up to you. Use them as crimp bead covers, brilliant. But use them as spacer beads as well. They're great, great spacer beads. And actually, even compared to even compared to our um, uh, spacer beads here on Jewelry Maker, they are such a steal of a deal, aren't they? Amazing. Gorgeous. Okay, that goes in here, I think. 
I don't know what number it goes in. I've totally lost the plot now. I don't know what number six, I think. Right. Linda's boutique collection today. Wow. Um, can we see that stunning necklace that you've made? That the bubbly one, this necklace. One. Yeah. <clears throat> Wouldn't you love to be able to make this piece of jewellery here? Mmm. Wow. 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 This boutique collection will allow you, will enable you to make a necklace like this. It's got a real sense of elegance and sophistication, hasn't it? This is a boutique collection called An Evening in Montmartre, uh, which is, it, it's an area in Paris, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like an artist's area. Um, the quality of colour you get in this boutique collection is astonishing. There is something in this for everyone. There is something in this for everyone, whatever your colours are. And there's also something in this for everyone, no matter what time of year you wear this. You've got colours of spring, summer, autumn and winter running right the way through this piece. What a stunning boutique collection. I mean, it's just unbelievable. This is... Linda's opportunity to put um, the creme de la creme of colours, gemstones, for to go really wild with designs. When you were putting this boutique collection together, Linda, did you have a certain design in your mind that you wanted to make? Was there a certain theme you wanted? What, what, were, you, what were you thinking? I really wanted to be able to use round gemstones predominantly. I've got okay. a couple of designs, another one which you'll see in a moment. Mm. Um, but I wanted also to put something other than round that would be actually just a centre stage if you see what I mean yeah. which where that's the black diamond uh, shaped uh, or centre drilled you know corner to corner drill squares mm. of the black agate um, and to be honest uh, I absolutely adore shell pearl I really do I'm not trying to sell it to you I absolutely adore it because no, it's, you do. It's every, it, it comes in so many shades and hues of shades as mm. well that um, you can quite honestly do absolutely anything and everything with it yeah. and it just looks the part every time yeah there's something about shell pearl I love my culture pearl but there's something about shell pearl that is just stunning for me this is one of the largest boutique collections I think we've ever bought you. It's got a total of 12 strands in it. Um, very, very special. I'll show you the blue selection first off. They're really heavy, these shell pearls. They are, they've they? got Goodness a lovely me. drop to them, yeah. Blue agate four mil faceted rounds. Teal colored shell pearl rounds. Eight mil rounds. Teal coloured shell pearl ten mil rounds. Peacock coloured shell pearl six mil rounds. Peacock coloured shell pearl eight mil rounds. And peacock coloured shell pearl ten mil rounds. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Next selection. Goodness me, these are beautiful. Okay. Sham uh, no, actually, I'll show you the orangey ones first. These gorgeous orangey kind of marmalade coloured shell pearl uh, rounds. These are eight mil rounds and you're getting another strand exactly the same size. Eight mil rounds again. Isn't that just delicious? I mean, those two colours, those two shades go together so beautifully, don't they? And equally, those. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put those there, actually. They look great next to the peacock coloured shell pearl, don't they? You've then got champagne coloured shell pearl. These are beautiful 10 mil rounds. And I've got another strand exactly the same size in 10 mil rounds as well. Absolutely exquisite, isn't it? We're up to 10 strands. 
Here's your strand number 11, black agate faceted rounds. These are stunning little two mil rounds you're gonna be getting here, aren't they? Just delish. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I've got another strand, again, black agate, this time faceted corner drilled diamond shapes with that gentle bit of faceting on them. Oh, 12 strands of gemstones. Now, like I said to you, the other um, evening I was at this big jewelry event and there was a stunning pearl necklace and the pearls were around about 17 millimeters in diameter, gorgeous. That pearl necklace was 42,000 pounds, okay? Um, the pearls you're gonna be getting here, yeah, they're not 17 millimeters. They are absolute perfect rounds though because these are shell pearl and you can get a perfect round shape very, very easily with a shell pearl, okay? So if you're looking for that perfect round shape, if you're looking for that perfect round quality, if you're looking for that perfect pearl quality, but you don't necessarily want to pay triple figures for a strand, this is the kind of boutique collection to go for. Because you've got all of that quality, you've got all of that size, that beautiful shape, that wonderful luster, that gorgeous pearlescent quality as well. And you can get an entire boutique collection for the kind of price point we're gonna to do today. Now, this price here, £39.95p for 12 strands of genuine gemstones. That is pretty incredible, isn't it? Pretty amazing. Amazing. The quality, the size, the shape, the colour spectrum, absolutely gorgeous. We're going lower. 39 95 is not your price. We're going to give you that extra bit of money off because it is Black Friday continued. Here is your deal. Absolutely wonderful. 34 95 Absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well done, everyone. I've got loads of people checking their baskets out. Oh, my word. Wow. Well done. I've got a couple of people multi-buying this as well. £34.95 P for this boutique collection. It's absolutely astonishing, isn't it? Oh, Linda, this is an absolute winner, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah, I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. It just makes such... Um, the the on-trend jewellery at the moment, which is pretty colourful, you know, a lot of on-trend jewellery at the minute, is, is mm. if you look at um, in a lot of the Sunday mags and things like that, everything is very, very colourful. Oh, isn't it just, and, yeah. And this really do, it provides that for you. Joe in Essex says, uh, morning, how many uh, strands did Linda use for the big chunky necklace, uh, please? Um, less than one on the teal, yeah. less than one on the gold and one and a half on the um, pop of the, um, the sort of the bronzy colour, the marmalade colour. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. They're all, um, they're all, uh, I've lost my words now, they're all literally put on the um there's two pearls attached by the wrapped loop yeah. effect on to uh, each link mm. so if you get the chain just get any chain any chain at all that you've got in your stash and literally wrap on to you can do them quite randomly yeah um i tended to get a little bit of a hue going on where i kept certain twos mm. together but most definitely, um, you just put them on randomly and they'll be absolutely okay. fine. It's got a lovely tactile feeling, very Doesn't simple. The sound it makes as very, well, it's very just simple, amazing. Um, as you say, Linda, uh, you look in magazines at the moment, um, I quite often look at the Star magazine in the um, Sunday Times, because it's, it's got a lovely, yeah, 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 it's got yeah, a lovely yes. variety in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is very brightly coloured at the minute. I mean, it's very, very multicoloured at the moment. This is multicoloured, but it's done in a very sophisticated, very yes, classy it's, way. It's, exactly. It's mm. sort of understated multicolour. It's exactly what it is. It? Yeah. Lisa yeah. from Sorry says, Hi, ladies. I always uh, struggle to get pearls tightly packed together. Is there a knack to it? Um, absolutely not really an act to it. It's just doing that wrap loop, um, getting that wrap loop onto the link of chain as tightly as possible. Mm. Now, what I would suggest you do is wind the excess from your head pin as many times as you can mm. on top of that pearl and on the little stem. Just literally as many times as you can get that round and then it will tighten. But because you've got a multitude of pearls on that necklace, mm. then they, they'll, they'll behave beautifully. And because that shell pearl, um, which are all perfect rounds, you're going to get that lovely regular mm -hmm. shape as well. Absolutely. Love this. I oh, love this piece. Oh, there, there it is there. Isn't that gorgeous? Or oh, again, because we've used shell pearl in this boutique collection, you get that and you get a very uniform design. 
Oh, it's just that wonderful, is, Linda. That is just, you know the leaf technique that's in that uh, little booklet that comes out mm. so that for, uh, for, with first orders? It, that's the leaf technique. I've just started off with the very tiniest, going up into the slightly bigger three or four mil rounds, and then going mm. in with those peacock shell pearls. Um, and then just joined it together at the back. So that is simply the leaf technique, and then I just wound it onto the um, beautiful onto the neckline. Now, what do you want to show us, um, Linda? What technique right, do you well, want to show uh, us? If you see on this necklace here, which again is it like a, a combination of lots and lots and lots of uh, that they're they're wrapped onto chain, dropping mm. from chain. They're also wrapped directly onto the neck piece chain. But you can see in the centre that that drop there has got a zigzag. There's two zigzag drops there, there mm. which I just thought created um, a little bit of an effect to continue that sort of waterfall look. Yeah. Now, um, to do that, again, it's very, very simple. Um, take a head pin mm -hmm. and pop on whichever of the gems that you want to or whichever gem that you're working with, okay? And then um, what I tend to do is I tend to measure. So where my flat nose pliers, you see that change in sheen, mm -hmm. I tend to grab it there and then I just move it up a couple of mil, just very slightly move it up a little bit, so I've just got back a couple of mil standing proud of the pearl and then I just push that back mm -hmm. and then take off, you can do this by eye when you're quite experienced but if not use that same technique again by on that uh, 90 degree angle there, pop the flat nose pliers back into where that change is and just do a little bend, then you'll get them um, all the same drop and then just trim off at that bend. And then simply take your round nose pliers, okay, forming mm -hmm. a simple loop and just bend it back so that you've just got a simple loop sitting on top, okay? Right. So that's the first one done. Yeah. Then we have to do another one. So take another one. You can um, you can obviously use the larger pearls and the larger shell pearls and, and, and change the colours. That, that's nice as well. So again, pop it on to that sort of sheeny bit. Pop it up a little bit. Do your little bend, a uh, right angle bend. And then again, I can sort of tend to do it by eye, but if you can't, do exactly that same thing again. And then just trim off. And then start your simple wrapped loop, sorry, your simple loop and bring that back, okay, again. And what you have to do, this might be a little bit fiddly, so I'll talk it through, mm. is open the loop, okay, Yeah. and then it's just fiddly on the first one, but not on, on all the others, actually, um, is get that open loop and you have to pop it across that neck of the previous one mm. and then just let it rest on the pearl and then close it up. Lovely. Okay. So okay, so you've got that little dog oh, leg now. That looks great. I it's love exactly that. the same thing again. Just continue yeah. them down, and they'll go in that little dog leg shape. And then at the end, on the earrings, I just popped on a head pin onto the black agate, and just let that drop from the bottom one. The bottom, mm. the bottom pearl. You can probably just see there. The bottom pearl. I did a double eye pin look. Okay, so. The very last yes. pearl, so I needed somewhere to, to hang that agate onto. I used an eye pin or made an eye pin for the very last one. Gorgeous. Simple as that. And you can use that in necklace designs, mm. earring designs, anything. Uh, Fiona's text in and says, being a bit stupid, what is a shell pearl? That's not stupid at all. Um, shell pearl is basically shell which has been uh, reformed into a perfect pearl shape. Um, so you get that perfect pearl shape um, and you and you yeah, you get that perfect pearl shape and you get the and you get the the kind of pearlescent quality added to it as well so you get what looks like a perfect round pearl um, essentially it is made of shell so um, so it's not a faux pearl you will get you will get glass per, uh, pearls and plastic pearls on the high street but these are shell pearl because they're made of shell okay so you're essentially not getting a faux pearl we don't sell them as pearls we don't we don't say that they are pearls they are shell pearl um, if this was a boutique collection where all of these strands were genuine freshwater culture pearls this size it wouldn't huge. be 34.95 it, 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 it wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to one strand of those wouldn't be 34.95 if they I, were genuine um, freshwater culture pearls i went to um a uh, mm. picasso museum in um, malaga wow um recently and there was a lady exhibiting jewelry in there and it was phenomenal it really was showcase jewelry in in, in a showcase mm. and she was using shell pearl and everybody was saying how beautiful they thought it was large large shell pearl probably 20 mil mm. and it was amazing mm. 
Shell pearl is absolutely wonderful. I know Linda is a huge fan of it. I, I love that perfect round uh, shape that you can get. I also love the colours you can mm, get with absolutely. shell pearl as well. That is, a, that is a stunning piece there. Absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. 23 chances left. How many do we have in baskets, Dion? You deselected me. How many? 28. 28 chances. Uh, sorry. Uh, 28 of these in baskets. I've got 22 chances left, so we're going to have people losing out when you do eventually check your baskets out. Please do check your baskets out. I've got Jane, uh, Nadia, Lynn, Marilyn, Paula, Anonymous, Anonymous, Nicola, Anne, Alison, Val. Loads and loads, loads of you. Please do check your baskets out when you can because there's only 21 opportunities left now. Well done. At 34.95. It shouldn't have been 34.95. It, it, it was, it was going to be close to £40, but well done, everyone. Lovely. Right, we see you over the Wall of Fame. Thanks, Linda. We'll see you over the Wall of Fame. This is lovely. I think this is Labradorite. It's beautiful. I've got number 74 here from Jan in Leicestershire. Hi, all jewelry maker. Here's my latest design for the Wall of Fame. It's made from faceted natural emerald drops, emerald buttons, gold findings, and gold chain. All from jewelry maker. Is it emerald? Looks like Labradorite. Uh, it's the first time I've dared try one of the big four and have since ordered two strands of luxury um, emeralds. Just waiting for the right inspiration. Thank you for giving me the ideas and tips to help me with my jewellery making. I feel like part of a huge jewellery making family. Good. Uh, the Addictive Daily Shows are brilliant and provide instruction, information and many, many laughs. Uh, good luck to all my fellow jewellery makers. But keep up the good work. I love from Jan. Jan, that's lovely. And that really surprises me. I thought that was um, Labradorite. Yes, yeah, I can, I, now it's, I can see mm. the sort of larger, um, gorgeous black areas on that emerald there, fabulous. Beautiful, best of luck. This is, this is cute. This is number 75 ah. and it's from Julie. Julie says, um, I wanted to make a little Christmas tree for it's my office tree. desk. So inspired by Alison, I made this. Um, the only thing that limits us is our imagination. Do you know what? You're exactly right. That's exactly what I say. You know, work, get all your um, little sort of um, beginner's techniques sorted mm. and then it, it design imagination. That's it. That's That's the rest lovely. Of it. Number 77. Awesome. Ooh. Linda couldn't work out what this is. It's a hair comb with feathers yeah. on, Linda. <laughs> it, I can see that now. I it was like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. What's that? Uh, oh, so it's, from, uh, it's from Philip who says, please accept wow. this into this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, this is from Philip Craig, who's um, something more. Biddulph Moore. Never even heard of that. I think I have. Yeah. I've heard, yeah, I think I have. Sounds amazing. Where, I wonder where that is. My first attempt at a hair comb. It's blue and white halite cubes and feathers all from Jewelry Maker. I was looking for that 20s feel and I hope I've achieved mm. it. Absolutely. It's yeah. definitely, definitely got that 20s feel. Definitely. Big thanks to all the inspiring designers and presenters. Awesome, Philip. Best of luck, darling. This is another gorgeous dramatic necklace. Mm. And it's number 76. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's from... Bryony and Bryony says this is pearls with onyx slabs and silver findings all from Jewelry Maker. It looks really elegant on the neckline. I bet it does. I bet it absolutely does. That's the thing once you put it on. Amazing. Lovely. Number 78. Oh. This is a really big piece from Amanda. It's beautiful. <clears throat> who's from Nottingham, he says, Hi to all at Jewelry Maker. I really hope I make this to the Wall of Fame as it's been months since I've had a piece shown as it's my birthday on Saturday the 29th. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday. birthday! So it would be great to see it and get some birthday wishes in too. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, I'm really pleased with this necklace. It's simple yet stunning due to the gorgeous orange agate slab. Uh, please can we have more statement strands like these, please? I agree with you. So do I. I've also wire wrapped black crackle quartz and Baltic amber rounds to the front. Everything except the chain is from Jewelry Maker. Brilliant. <laughs> Big love uh, from a true JM junkie, and that's Amanda from Nottinghamshire. Best of luck and happy birthday to you today, I Amanda. Love that. I absolutely love Baltic that. Baltic amber. Isn't it amazing? I love that stone. It's, mm. That's exactly what you should have done with it. Coming up yeah. in a few moments, brand new floral ring mounts. These are stunning. Oh my word! They're coming up in just a few seconds. Please don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss out on these bad boys. Download the Jewelry Maker app today. 
you can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. Jewelry Maker is your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products. Value for money and excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9am to 9pm. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. designer Liz Welsh as she guides you through how to make beads using friendly plastic. Liz will teach you how to make an array of different shapes and patterns including round beads, wrapped and tubular beads. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. So to get your hands on a copy contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. As peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. These are gonna sell out. Oh, these are gonna sell out. La 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 la. Oh, these are going to sell out because they're really lovely. La 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 la. They're ready-made ring mounts for you to do what you like with. La 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 la. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're absolutely amazing. La 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 la. They're gonna go really la ho. They're gonna go really la ho. La 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 la. La, la, la. We've got 300, but they're gonna sell out. We've got 300, but they're gonna sell out. La 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 la. Oh, <laughs> Cassie ran in from the prep room just to come and have a bit of a bit of a bit of a conga. What's she on? Hey, what are you on? Biscuits. Okay. Biscuits! Biscuits! Biscuits then! <laughs> I was like, Hattie, um, Hattie, say dada. She goes, da da. She never says dada, she goes, da da. <laughs> and then I said, say mama, 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 which is lovely. And, and she taps me and says, mama. But then she picks up her lamb toy and goes, mama. It's like, <laughs> oh, great. Great. You're there. You're there for these, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Look at them. Oh, Linda, these are just awesome, aren't they? You're right there, Cass. These are fully adjustable ring mounts. Well, I mean, to be honest, you know what? They look fantastic just like no, you that. Don't, you don't need to do anything what? with them, do you? Yeah, no. I mean, you can. You can really busy it up like a cocktail ring and go yeah, in every nook and cranny or just around the edge and follow that flash. Mm. But they look fab like that. Too. I do. I totally agree. These are silver plated copper, okay? We're getting five in a pack. They go down to a size N to O, which is a size seven, okay? Depending on whether you're on American sizes or um, everywhere else sizes, kind of European sizes. Um, right the way up to whatever size you want them to be, because you can see there, they're not, they're not fused at the back. So you literally just, ugh, they are really strong. Do that and you can make it into a larger ring. Yeah, perfect. 
They'd be good for solitaire rings, says uh, Fran in London. Do you reckon? Yeah, so I suppose you could have the decoration around it or you could use it as a base and just have a massive, great big cabochon on top of it. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? <gasps> Silver plated copper adjustable ring mounts with a flower frame. I just love them. I love them just as they are. I think they look great just on their own. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, it's going to be a fantastic price point for all five of these. Here's your price today. Under a tenner. Loads of you coming through. We did start with 302. Look how quickly that quantity is going. Our countometer can't even keep up with how many of these are going. Well done. People from all over the country, people from all over the world getting involved. Amazing. Well done. Oh, wow. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Well done. All stacked up. Ollie likes to look at these all stacked up. Yeah, I mean, why not? Just go for it. Do whatever you want with these. They're 9 95 for five of them. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> They really would work really well as a, um, you know, sort of an Asian wedding thing <gasps> coming. Yes. With the play from the centre finger and then that being the mountain coming all the up. beautiful henna designs. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, fabulous. You could, couldn't you? That would be really, really good. So beautiful. for like a, kind of almost like a slave bracelet design. Yeah. Fabulous. You could do that and then, I think that one's a bit big for that finger there. And then kind of have it like coming off there. Yeah, have yeah. like an entire piece. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Veronica from Gloucestershire says, uh, cut the shank off and make yep. a pendant. Why not? Yeah, why not? You can make an entire set. It's 9 95 for all five of these. So you may as well do something really funky with them and, you know, moderate them and, you know, just do what you like. Lisa from Surrey says, lovely ring mounts. Can you put silver or polymer clay on them and put them in the oven? Yeah, she think so. Yeah. I can't see why not. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah because, lovely. Um, oh no, shell pearl clustering maybe. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Um, Fiona, she did the resin, didn't she, in the pendant? Fiona so you Potter. put resin into that. So yeah. presumably you can definitely do the polymer clay idea. You could, couldn't yeah. you? In fact, more and more and more of you are doing those kind of designs right now because you know you're being inspired by guest designers and by each other, of course. Um, but yes, Fiona Potter, who is our resin specialist at the moment, um, who, who is uh, running a workshop in the, uh, in, in the workshop room today, she would love the opportunity, I'm sure, to work with these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? There they all are. Deep in, uh, deep in, deep in jewelry making mode, aren't they? They are. Deep in resin, knee deep in resin. Well done, everyone. Loads of people coming through, forget these. Uh, so Deborah in Essex, friendly plastic ooze, lovely. I love it, just adding random words. So. Friendly plastic oozing through these, or yep. you could get some F colour. Why not? Get some F colour with these. I like the thought of you. I bet you a uh, Prue, who's um, uh, Prue Mahimo, who's one of our Kim Mahimo specialists, would use seed beads with these. Yeah, amazing. Gorgeous. Templates for polymer clay. Well, yeah, why not? You could use it to stamp into polymer clay. You know, use them as. Use them as um, Use them as, um, as kind of templates, if you like. You're getting five for 9 95 I've got loads of people multi-buying. Or just have them on your craft store, just selling them as they are, without any gemstones on them at all. You don't have to add anything to them at all. I think adding F colour to these might be nice, actually, to kind of colour it a little bit. I don't know. Loads of ideas. Claire from Power says, when Carol um, started singing my... My bang, my beagle, my bangle, my beagle came downstairs, looked at the TV, then at me, then went up back upstairs and is now asleep again. I, I don't know. I, I, I am, I am the Doctor Doolittle of um, <laughs> of the shopping telly world. You sure are. If I could talk to the <laughs> animals, uh, Sarah from Cheshire, Carol, I just want to say you look lovely today. Those colours were really thanks. Cheers, thanks. No, oh, it's nice, isn't it? Eh? One of my least favourite tops. I don't, I, like, I don't like it at all. There's nothing else though, nothing else to wear this morning. Kind of like this, walking into the <laughs> bedroom, uh, spare room this morning. What should I wear? I don't know. Do you ever have mornings like that? I'm like that most mornings to be fair. Dreadful. I'm not, I'm not really a morning person to be fair. I'm not very good. Well, I woke up at, I woke up at kind of 5.45 this morning. Don't you hate that? Mm. Kind of 15 minutes before yeah, the alarm goes right, that's off. That's horrible. I hate that. Horrible. Woke up 5.45 just thinking, oh really? I thought, I'll just go for a quick, I, 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 was, I was going to the loo, came back to bed, I thought, oh, I'll have a look at the time. And you know you should never look at the time. Yeah. And then, oh, then it's just, oh, annoying. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, well done, 120 chances. Are there really 120 chances left? Goodness me. 
Less than 100 chances left. That's a bit more like it. Well done, everyone. Lots of people coming through to get twos and threes of these. Please don't forget, we are like in the midst of a uh, Black Friday continued megathon here. Amazing. Well done, everyone. These kind of deals, these kind of prices are absolutely wonderful, aren't they? A lot of people asking about the 20% saving that you're making on our website at the moment. Um, actually, on the live show today, I reckon everything, everything is pretty much averaging out at more than 20% saving. You know, it really is the most amazing, amazing, amazing show we've bought you today. Just incredible. We bought you things which have got over a 50% discount on today's show as well, which is just wonderful. More and more and more of you coming through to get these. Well done. Just gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Lovely. Which ones? Exactly. Why not? Let's do them. I'm going to recap the bail making plan. Now, I'm not implying that this isn't. Bow me out, Linda. <laughs> we'll bow you out. Bow. Do you know what? I went to a uh, I went to a seafood disco the other night. You get a bass a bit, yeah. don't you? Wow. Pull the muscle. Pull a the muscle. Seafood. Pull the disco. muscle. Pull the muscle. You pull the muscle, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I was a bit slow. <laughs> You'd have to go to the oyster hospital. I can't do no, that. that's that, rubbish. That, that, that was awful. Work. That doesn't work, no. She's come out of a shell. Warms the cockles of your heart, though, doesn't it? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh. oh, don't clam up on us. Come on, <laughs> give us some more jokes. Go on. Oh. <laughs> right, barrel making plies. Okay. Linda, is this, is this, is this going to save you time? Oh, it's going to save you absolutely heaps of time. Just and yes or no will do. Yeah, no, no, I'm on a roll. Is this going to uh, save going you time? It's going to save you lots and lots and lots of time, absolutely. And is time, it going to save you energy? Time's precious, energy is even more oh, precious. Tell you actually. What? I've yeah, a yes or no answer both. here. Right, is it going to save you time? Is it going Yes. Is it going to. Yes, it's going to save you time. Is it going to save you energy? Yes. And 6 Is going to save you save money? You yeah, exactly. <sighs> do you know what? I sometimes wonder who the presenter is here. Honestly, this is why I never get to work with Linda. Can't put us together. Okay, you've got the ability here to make your 10, 7, and 5 millimeter bales or 10, 7, and 5 millimeter jump rings. Uh, you can make um, your S hook connectors, you can make your figure of eight chains. It's not just for making bales, you can make all sorts of bits and pieces using these bell making pliers and so many of you at home i know have got collections of pen lids and round objects this is plastic coated here to um, save your uh, wire any color or coated wire that, or, or, or plated wire they might be using got a lovely kind of comfort grip style of quality on these as well which is lovely um nice and big and easy to use and they feel so professional and at 6.95 that's a fantastic deal isn't it well done everyone loads and loads and loads of you coming back through for these which is great to see so if you didn't see these earlier on, if you didn't see these earlier on, um, <laughs> and you're coming through to get these now, well done, that's a great deal at £6.95p. And the kind of price point I would expect to see for a tool like this is not £6.95. Not £6.95 at all. If I was to put a, even a jewellery maker price point on these, I'd put a price point on these of what, £12, £14.95 maybe? Not £6.95. But they are today. Well done, darlings. Absolutely gorgeous. How many? 30 left in stock. How many in baskets? I've got loads of these in baskets. Well done, everyone. Lots and lots and lots of you coming through there. Well done. There's about a minute 20 on the phone lines at the moment. Uh, a queue on the phone lines. Please do be patient. I've got Elaine, Jeanette, Beverly, Sean, Sarah, Debbie, Iris, Sue, Anonymous, uh, Judy, Sharon, Linda, Martine, uh, Martiza, Nat uh, Natasha. And th these are all the people, uh, Fran, you're all the people with uh, this in your baskets. Please check your baskets out. Ooh. Well done, everyone. Less than 30 chances left now. Once they're gone, they're gone. Once they're gone, they're gone. Well done, everyone. Karen and Kent, please check your baskets out. Natasha in Greater London just has. Well done. Well done, love. And so is Valerie in Middlesex. Gorgeous. Well done. 6 for your basically three and one pliers to make your 10, 7, and 5 mil jump rings. Bales, loops, rosary link style chain, you name it, it'll do it. Apart from the washing up. It won't do the washing up. It's disappointing. I've asked it, it won't, it won't do it, it refuses to do it. I don't mind washing up actually. I hate ironing, I don't iron. That's what I've got to tumble dry for. 
Do you like ironing? Linda? No, no. And 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 I have Some a. People love it, don't they? Well, they do. And and I uh, I do do it actually watching this show. Seriously, because that what, just do, makes yeah. that just makes the ironing seem far less painful. I'm terrible. I don't I don't iron at all. Never mind. Anyway, right, so well done, everyone. 6.95, absolutely awesome. Pamela, Shirley, Sean, you all need to check your baskets out. Please, please, please. Otherwise, you will end up missing out, and I don't want you to miss out. I hate missing out. Do you hate missing out? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Remember that from school. Oh, awful. I hate, 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 hate missing out. I mean, um, when I was little, you know, at this time of the year, they have the nativity. When I was little, I always wanted to be Mary, obviously. Of course. So then when my children were little, I always wanted them either to be Mary or Joseph. That never happened. Oh, so I've just got parents. high hopes of my grandchildren. <laughs> so Lily's an angel. Yeah, OK. Lovely. Right. Almost there. Yeah, and Ruby's a sheep. Oh. Hey, come on, girls. I'm not quite sure what Madeline's going to be, and Beatrice, I think, will just probably be the shepherd that rounds the sheep up. But you know, you know what? Just, just, just sheep. give me my last dream tr come true. Sheep. <laughs> I can't wait to see it though. Oh, it's going to be amazing. No, lovely. I love a good nativity. I do. Yeah. Okay. Pendant bales. These are all 95 sterling silver. Great to use with your half drill pearl. Yeah. Mm -hmm, definitely. Number of different materials you can use these with. Absolutely gorgeous. So three of these 95 sterling silver detailed pendants in total. You can what? Stab a sprout and have it as a pendant. Stab a sprout. <laughs> Ollie, that, no, that's a, that's a terrible idea. Did you like that idea? I actually do. I can see that bracelet. Yeah, I can sprout yeah, jewelry. I think, um, I think designer Frankie should do that. Make sprout, perhaps with an odd parsnip in there too. Yeah, I think fruit and veg really jewelry. A fruit and veg. <laughs> Why not? Honestly, Stop. food. Literally food jewelry. Anyway, it's eight ninety five. <laughs> well done, lot. Lots of potential with these, and they are 95 cents silver. They even come with little 95 stamps on them. There you are, 95 stamp on the back of the bale there, which is absolutely gorgeous. Aren't they just lovely? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Sorry, say again, darling. The swirls? Yes! Oh, look at this. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Swirly clear quartz. I can't wait to bring you these. Oh, we've got a nice big quantity of these. They're going to go very, very, very low. They're coming your way in about 15 minutes' time. Woo, woo! All aboard the bargain bus. <laughs> Say again. Lee says, oh, here we go. Two soldiers marching across the bridge. One was the father of the other. Oh, oh no. One was the father of the other one's <laughs> son. How is that possible? Okay. One was the father of the other one's son. So there was a man, it was, it was a husband and wife, or, part, or mother and father hey. soldiers. <laughs> Did I get that? Did I get that right? Yeah, it is. One was the... Uh -huh. One was the what? One was the father of the other one's son. Yeah, so if the, the other one's son. Yeah, so it was the mother and the father. That was that was really parallel thinking there, wasn't it? That was fantastic thinking there. Well, did you get it? I know. No, I'm being absolutely really genuine. You're actually being I truthful actually there. I actually applaud you, yeah. Because we always perceive the soldiers as being men, don't we? Yeah. So I think that's amazing. Thank you. Checks in the post, isn't it, Carl? Checks in the post, yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm very pleased with myself, can you tell? Maybe I should have done. Uh, maybe I should have done brain surgery. That was my second option. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, we've got a friend, um, a, a Canadian friend called Doug Wooster, who's uh, a vascular surgeon, and he is he is just he is amazing. You can always hear his brain humming. He's got three kids. One of them works for NASA as a rocket scientist. He actually does rocket science. That that is his job. I think the other one works for some kind of. Um, is it, is it MI? Oh, no, no, no. Um, it's um, C, uh, what's it called? CIA. CIA. Um, and I don't know what the, um, um, Elizabeth does, but, you know, they're all, like, exceptionally bright children. Gosh. Anyway, unlike me. Right, where are we going, lovey? 
Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Ooh, these are nice. Ooh, bead cap head pins. Have you seen these? These are relatively new to Jewelry Maker. I love these. Head pins, but they're bead caps as well. It's like two findings in one. It's absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So lovely, lovely, lovely bead cap head pins here. Yellow gold plated copper. Um, have you got a loose gemstone there, ah, oh, Linda? Oh, certainly have. Have you got a, a round or a round? I've got like a, a chunky overly thing. That, a chunky that, overly thing. Fine. Lovely. There we go. Let's pop this in. And look, look at the effect you get. Oh yeah, see this looks great. Hang on. Look at that there. There we go. See, look at that. That's you really get that nice. beautiful looking bead on the end there. Isn't that gorgeous? That's really nice. Now, if we, um, if you did that with perhaps three mil gemstones, yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic because there's so many gemstones actually that just disappear. And so, uh, with a head pin, if you see what I mean. But when you've got those little peed caps as well, because they're mm. both getting a stage there, you'd actually yeah. see that tiny with that because the focal point's there. Yeah. So you're saying three mil gems, what about four mil gems? Oh, so well? yes, anything three oh, yeah, mil upwards. Place. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Mm. Just sowing the seed, everyone, sowing the seed. <laughs> so you've got your beautiful yellow gold plated copper bead cap head pins here. A uh, hundred of these in total. These are absolutely gorgeous. They give you that beautiful bit of decorative quality. And it's something which is very, very simple to do. And a lot of pieces of jewelry that you will find, you will just get maybe a flat head pin um, on it, which is, which is lovely. But isn't it lovely to really make a feature of it and to really make as, as Linda says, a centre stage quality out of the head pin as much as the gemstone quality as well. Right, great price for you today for a hundred of these gorgeous bead cap head pins, £6.95p. Now, if I can improve the look of my jewellery, if I can improve the look of my jewellery and make not only the gemstone centre stage, but also make the findings, you know, the physical mechanics, which a lot of people overlook as being statements. If I can make the statement out of the findings as well, then I'm going to set myself apart from everyone else, aren't I, as a, as a jewellery maker. 6 95 as well for 100 of these is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. So much you can do with these. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous head. Why is my nose so itchy today? Oh, my goodness me. Well done, everyone. Loads of you coming through for these. And these are 50 millimetres in diameter, so, sorry, in length, so you can, you can actually get I'm two. Not, Absolutely and phenomenal on. You know the, the last neck did have all that gold sparkling there as well. Linda, can I be really cheeky? Would you be able to get that necklace, yeah, please? Yeah, of course I will. It would look astonishingly fabulous, wouldn't it? Yeah, great idea. Working with rose gold plated ones right now to make a bracelet, says Fran in London. Oh, what a lovely idea. This would lovely look, idea. This would look fantastic. With yeah, you are so ends. right. It would look wonderful. So in, uh, Linda is suggesting, which is this necklace, which everyone is going on about today. It's not just uh, not not just viewers, but uh, Dion and myself have just been talking about this neckline piece, saying how beautiful and how effective it is. Instead of using flat top head pins on this, which is what Linda has used across this design, using these bead cap head pins, because you, as you say, it would just it would just it would just move oh, it up. Yeah, it would move it up a, a <gasps> notch. Definitely. Goodness me, can you imagine that? It would look even more intricate, wouldn't it? Just beautiful. And the gold, actually, against these shell pearls would look absolutely stunning, yeah. won't it? It would almost, uh, if you wanted it to, it would almost thicken it out as well. It would give you more, yeah. Yeah. more texture and more. Th uh, it would make a slightly larger look necklace too. But I it reckon, be because of all the colours in this, you could get away with using silver, yellow gold and rose gold. I think mixed that, metals. I actually think that would be f absolutely fantastic if you put your it? rose gold on the bronzy ones Ooh. and then your silvers on the blue yeah. and then the, the actual gold ones put the gold ones on that would be just a lot going on but it's all if you see what I mean it's not too busy because it's all the same theme there's a lot going on with mixed symphony. metals it works that's it's absolute yeah. symphony yeah. total yeah. symphony oh yeah just just something honestly trust me on this just something as simple as replacing flat top head pins to bead cap head pins mm -hmm. in a design can change the look of a piece of jewellery really quite remarkably. And it can take it up from this level to that level. I mean, let's face it, this neckline piece here is right up there, isn't it? I mean, design-wise, it's beautiful. Gemstones-wise, it's absolutely beautiful. It, it has a lot of time and effort and work that's gone into it. How much, uh, how much, and I hate to say this, but it would look even more beautiful using these bead cap head pins. It really would. You have such an awesome design feature going through there. Just wonderful. Well done. So many people coming through for these gorgeous, gorgeous qualities. Well done. 
Just wonderful. Lee says, answer to the riddle, it was man and wife. Well done, <laughs> Carol. A star. A star. Honestly, that, that is a fluke. I normally get all my questions wrong and th things like that. Lateral thinking and, you know. Esther says, morning, ladies. Linda, how many shell pearls did you use on that necklace, roughly? Gorgeous jewellery. Um, hang on. Or how many just... strands worth, I guess, okay, would be there's easy... Probably, there's probably, out of the whole kit, we've got, what, um, probably 50 on a strand. There's probably about 120 or 100 to 120 on there. It's, again, it's probably a sitting down in front of the TV... Uh, hour and a half project project uh, project because it's the same thing that you're doing the whole time so you can basically watch TV and do it and watch it grow yeah yeah it's a, it's a nice design There's roughly I reckon between 40 and 50 on a strand isn't there yeah yeah so I, re I reckon I, th I said it originally I think it's about two and a half strands altogether on there but the, you know it would look astonishingly beautiful as well as a bracelet so if you haven't got enough oh, make a bubble word. bracelet yeah, yeah. Such a simple design, but so effective, and it sounds oh, sounds amazing. Uh, Emma from Tiny Weir says, Carol, could you be the love child of Carol Vorderman and Peter Kay? <laughs> You're bonkers but brainy. Who knew it? <laughs> you make my day, says Emma. Oh, thanks, Emma. Um, that'd be amazing. Carol Vorderman, did you see her on Pride of Britain? Um, she was she was um, she was presenting Pride of Britain. She's got the most amazing bottom. Oh, she has. I she, mean, she... just. Didn't Beautiful. She, she, I mean, I'm heterosexual, but she has year, got the most amazing bottom. Sorry, say again. Rear of the year, I think she was. Really? A I'm not surprised. It was just. Just. It was just amazing. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just the shape of it. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of three and four mil gemstones earlier on, Carol Vorderman has got younger. Hasn't she, hasn't she had a bit of work done, though? She had a bit of help, hasn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, she's very brainy, though, isn't she? I think she's brainier than the new Countdown girl. What do you reckon? What's her name? Is her name Rebecca? She's really... And she's beautiful as well, isn't she? They're all lovely. Brainy and beautiful. Lisa Ryan lives where? <laughs> Lisa Riley. What? Of Emmerdale. What? What? Of Rachel Riley. I think Lisa Riley's the one of you've been framed. <laughs> Thinky Dingle, yeah. Anyway, I think we're kind of talking about two different things here. Right, a 12 strander, 12 strander for four millimeter gemstones. Here we go. Smoky quartz, four mil rounds. Red marcasite, four mil rounds. Multicolor agate, sorry, multicolor jasper, four mil rounds. Light pink quartzite, four mil rounds. What are you laughing at? Crackled quartz, four mil rounds. <laughs> it's true. Banded agate, faceted, four mil rounds. Rhodolite, four mil rounds. Picture jasper, four mil rounds. Multicolour agate, four mil rounds. Snowflake obsidian. Faceted four mil rounds, rose quartz four mil rounds, and multicolour agate four mil rounds. There are 12 strands of four millimetre rounds here. Oh my word. Do you know what? Pruma Hemo, who we had with us on Thursday, she would she would be going nuts over this bundle. We had the lovely um, uh, Pruma Cray on the show yeah, uh, on Thursday. She is an inspirational lady when it comes to beaded Kuma Hemo. Um, and her and Sarah are our Kimohimo specialists. Prue really does like working with seed beads, though. Teeny, teeny, tiny seed beads, like the ones you're going to be getting here. Um, 
using these to make those big substantial kumihimo pieces is is absolutely awesome and all you would need to do is just make your regular kumihimo um uh it's normally an eight strand weaver or a six strand weave isn't it or, 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 or even more and just add beads to every single strand and you can make those big chunky kumihimo beaded pieces and they look absolutely amazing 12 strands of four millimeter size gemstones here for $34.95. Now, just out of interest, um, just out of interest, Dion, what does that work out to per strand? She's just working it out now. I'll be interested to find out what that works out to. See, that works out to £2.91 a strand. Do you remember when we first got seed beads in, excuse me, in stock? Do you remember when we first got seed beads in stock? When they used to be, what, 9.95 a strand, some of them 8.95 a strand, but mostly kind of ran about 10 pounds a strand. Today, these work out to less than three pounds a strand. Now, how come we can bring you gemstones like this, of this kind of size, of this kind of quality, for this kind of a price? Have we, um, have we skimped on the quality? No, not at all. In fact, when you get gemstones which are this kind of size, it takes longer to, it can take longer to facet them. It certainly is more um, technically demanding to drill them as well, because you're working with a gemstone which is much, much, much smaller, which is why, quite often, you might find a rose quartz strand, which is four mil um, in size, is, um, uh, can be a little bit more of a considered purchase than a rose mil uh, sorry than a, a than a 10 mil rose quartz strand um you know with the same kind of quality today you are paying less than three pounds a strand for seed beads anyone who is into bead embroidery or is into seed beads or into making beady beads or into using the smaller gemstones or into beaded kumihima like prue is um will be able to tell you less less than three pounds a strand for four mil beads is absolutely astonishing price points. You know, even when we're talking about plastic beads and glass beads and, um, and synthetics, less than three pounds a strand is unbelievable. For genuine gemstones like the ones you're gonna be getting here, is e it's even better. 12 strands of genuine gemstones, which are all four mil in size for under three pounds a strand. That is definitely a Black Friday continued uh, deal. Amazing, 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 amazing. Well done. Beautiful, right, where, where are we going now, Dion? The clear quartz. Now, these clear quartz swirl cut beads are amazing. Sometimes we bring you um, pretty much custom cut gemstones. This is one of those occasions here on Jewelry Maker. Um, quite often when we bring you round beads, they're gonna be either plain, or they could be frosted or they could be faceted yeah these aren't plain they're not frosted and they're not technically faceted what are they they're carved now how can i show you this these are beautifully carved swirl cut beads um, they look like running water in fact, if you hold it this way up and you do this with it, it looks like running water, doesn't it? It's ab absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the most fluid looking gemstones qualities that you can get. And if you're looking to make that kind of icicle inspired jewelry, or if you're looking to physically make icicle uh, uh, decorations, wonderful. Um, because what you're getting here is something that looks like liquid. It's the only quality that you're ever gonna get from Jewelry Maker that actually looks like liquid when we swirl cut a gemstone. I love the impact of using all these together because together they do look like um, um, fluid that is just moving. It looks like water, running water, it's just beautiful. Using them on their own, you can do so many wonderful things with these because they are clear. You can use them with colored beading thread or colored gemstones. Also, you could wire up them and follow the contours of that swirl and they're gonna look wonderful. Now, Linda, how have you used swirl cut gemstones in the past? Because these, these are really, really beautiful examples, they are, I think. Um, they, they are perceived on a piece of jewelry as, as a flower. That's how they're perceived when you, when you use them. Oh, how lovely. Design. So the, um, the wired, 
um, design that I did, I think it was the second kit, was it? Um, that one, it would look stunning, as would the, the bubble necklace again. Yeah. Can you imagine that bubble necklace in, in all of those? Mm. I mean, if you've got a winter wedding or, you know, even just going out Christmas Eve, say, something like that for dinner, you know, fabulous, wouldn't it? Works every time. Yeah, yeah. Um, just yeah. one dropping on an earring drop um, in the centre of one of those ring findings that we were selling. Um, just beautiful. Uh, I think I would tend to want to use those. I, I feel the urge to do that necklace again in using all of those. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. with those uh, bead caps too, the bead caps, the, the, the bead cap ones. headpins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Linda is totally right. Recreating this design here, which everyone has been going on about today, recreating this beautiful bubble neckline piece with this strand, because just using these gemstones for a winter wedding. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful just with the frame yes, around it, doesn't it? Exactly. Um, would look absolutely amazing. Um, I have got so many multi buyers on this strand. You clearly have seen the price point of this strand already. Normally, when you get custom cut anything if you get custom cut gemstones if you get gemstones which are very unusual normally and historically think of our collector's edition or our or our connoisseur's collection normally you would expect those gemstones to be a higher price point yeah yeah absolutely and even on jewelry maker when we bring you concave faceted gemstones when we bring you individually um uh, faceted qualities that are very unusual you expect to pay a higher price point for them this is one of those occasions where, yeah, you've got something really unusual. You've got something really different. You've effectively got a custom cut strand. This is your price for this entire strand. £10.95p. Honestly, I'm looking at this strand and I'm thinking, I wouldn't even have the first clue how to begin carving these gemstones even if these gemstones are carved by uh, uh, are carved by machine the setting the, the the actual calibration to be able to set this kind of facet in this kind of cut up is so difficult because it's so out of the ordinary loads of people are coming through to get twos and threes of this strand it's absolutely astonishing and um, would i use it with other colors oh, do you know what i'd probably just leave it as they are i i i i probably just use them use them as they are maybe use them with precious metal findings i think they might look great with navy blue actually something like that but but I, other than that i might just leave them as they are and just use precious metal qualities with them icicle window decorations for christmas uh, then a bracelet says fran yeah it's a great idea if you want to make christmas decorations out of any of these gemstones today and then of course you can take them apart and make them into pieces of jewelry great idea uh, but like i say these will give you when they twist when they turn they will give you the illusion of running water of liquid i mean no other gemstone quality is going to give you that if these were in smoky quartz, if these were in smoky quartz, they wouldn't give you that quality. If these had been checkerboard faceted, they wouldn't give you that quality because it's clear quartz and it's high quality clear quartz, as you can see, because the transparency is so good, the diaphanity is so good. And because these have been swirl carved, they're going to give you that watery quality. Absolutely. Yeah, it is a bit like an optical illusion, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Just beautiful. Just gorgeous. Well done. So many people are coming through to get these. Well done. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of you still coming through to multi-buy this as well. Well done. Do, 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 do come and get these. They are absolutely gorgeous. It is Black Friday continue today. £10.95. And do you know what? I seriously doubt, I seriously doubt that if this wasn't one of those special kind of money-saving weekends, I seriously doubt that these would be £10.95. They don't deserve to be. Think about how much you would pay, how much you pay for our custom cut our uh, our uh, our um our uh, what do you call them our collector's collection or our collector's cut editions how much do you pay for th you know three individual gems to have you just done that Dion, have you seen the amount of people who've already come through to get this at 10.95 we're at what are you doing I have got, I have got a call screen full of people who've come through to get this at £10. We've just taken it down to 9 95 Oh my word. Every single one of you has come through to get this. If you've paid 10 95 you haven't by the way, you've only paid 9 95 Every single one of you pays that final low price. That is amazing. I love Linda's idea about recreating this incredible bubble necklace design uh, using these gemstones and using you know oh my you, you need to get a fair old few strands of these but recreating this design in these gemstones with the beautiful head pins that we bought you those gorgeous bead cap head pins 
Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Fran from London says, uh, thank you, Dion. God love you. Beverly in Norfolk says, uh, Dion must have thought they were blue. Good on you, Dion. We love you. Oh, don't. Don't encourage her. <laughs> she just wants a bit of love from uh, everyone on the text. This is Elsa. I am 11 years old. My mum watches and thinks you're so funny. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Awesome. I have a riddle for you. Two dads, two sons went fishing. They all caught a fish each. Why, why did they only bring three fish home? Hang on. Yeah. Two dads, two sons. Mm. Was there a dad, a son, who was the dad of the other son? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So it's, it's two sons and, and the sons have got the same dad. Is that right? The sons have got the same dad? No, I think it's the dad who one of the... Two got sons a son. and two dads? Yeah. Yeah, because because my yeah. So there's a dad with with his son who's also a dad with his son. So it's two dads and two sons basically made up out of three people. Two dads, two sons. I think. Two dads, two sons. Because what I'm thinking is that there are son two sons there, and they've both got the same dad. But of course, one of them's got one. Yeah, but but one's a dad and a son. Yeah. One's a dad and a son. And a son. Okay. So grandfather, father, and ah, ah, thanks. All right, everyone, all right. You didn't get the more advanced one, though, did you? You didn't get the more advanced <laughs> one that I got. <laughs> okay, where are we going now, sweetheart? Here we go. Oh, I haven't seen this one for a while. Is this the Maxi? Is this the Maxi? I think so. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so your wax white cone. Uh, Prue used this the other day to make some lovely bead caps to go on the end of her Kumihimo pieces. Here you are. You put your wire through, you bend the end of the wire, and you do this. You turn it and carry on. And you 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 carry on. And you, oh, the VT is finished. Okay, right. So you. And you carry on. And you carry on. And then you have a lovely cone of wire. Come on. Ah! Want to get the price on screen? Come on. Finish the demo thing. Thanks, Dion. Seven ninety-five. And basically, you cut it off there. And you cut it off at the top. Blimey. It's because it's because it's the uh, <laughs> there's a voiceover with this as well. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel to watch this or you can watch this on our website, which is jewelrymaker.com. Lovely. There's your cone. And then you can use that to put your uh, strands in uh, to finish off your pieces of jewellery. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so Jenny from Suffolk's come through to get two of these. Seven pounds ninety-five p. It's amazing. You can use your round nose pliers, but you're not going to get the um, you're not going to get the width at the bottom of them. You're not going to get this kind of width at the bottom of them. Um, wax my cones make such a lovely, lovely um, professional yeah. finish to your pieces. Yeah, don't well, they? It, it, I mean, you just said you can use your round nose pliers, but you won't get the width, and also you don't get the, um, the sort of the mobility that you can get to mm. wind it round because you've got the other plier mandrel in the way. Yes, if you see what I mean. Not to so, mention, you can anchor the uh, wire yeah, through this exactly, hole as well. Exactly. Yeah, it makes fantastic. Um, <laughs> caps for multi-stranded jewellery so yes. you've done another one of those yeah. multi-strand you might yeah. have 20 rows of crochet in and then you can cover all yes. those 20 up from that that's what yeah it yeah so your uh, linda's exactly right so your multi-strand pieces your kumihimo your macrame pieces anything which has got multiple cords going through it and you want to finish it off really nicely and um, Bind them together with a, uh, with a bit of wire, um, thread them all the way through uh, the cone, um, uh, which you can create with your Wags Y cone, and it's, and, it, and it's done, and, it's, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Have we got anything that's been finished off with a Wags Y cone over there, actually? I don't think we have. But well done, everyone. Uh, 7 95 loads of people coming through for that. That's the biggest one I've seen for a while, actually. The last one I saw was the mini one, which is lovely. It's even better. Well done. Right, where are we going now? Box three, two. Yeah, I've been waiting to do these all show today, Dion. 
Yeah, I've been waiting to do these all show today because we've got a nice big quantity of these. And these have never... Are you sure? Never been to air? Right. Ollie, we're going to take that thing down then. The thing on the back, the plasma thing. Black Friday continued. What? Are you serious? What do you mean? No, 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 no. No, this is... Whoa! Just calm down with that. No, 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 honestly, these have never been to air before. Ever. What do you mean, get on with it? These have never been to air before. We can't know. Seriously, honestly, look at them. Flower top head pins. But look, I want to show you the detail on these. Individual petals, they're so gorgeous. These are all rose gold plated copper. Lovely, lovely detailing on these. You're getting approximately 100 here. Now, um, honestly, I, oh, look at the detail on them. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Honestly, I do not believe that these should be, that these should have that behind them, which is the, look at that, isn't that beautiful? The blammer behind them. Because these have never been to air before. Look at how they finish that beautiful bead off. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's just gorgeous. Loads of you coming through for these. Right, these have never been to air before. They are brand new, and they're in a Black Friday continued sale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Honestly, the, you are going to go nuts. Oh, oh, my word. I feel a bit embarrassed by that, actually. Why? Because it's taken us months to get these into the building. This isn't a case of us phoning up Prakash in, in India, in Jaipur, and saying, hi, Prakash, can we have these head pins in, please? Can we have them in by the end of next week? Yeah, sure, no problem. No, this is months and months and months of work. We get them in. The first time they go to air, they're a Black Friday deal. Uh, what, uh, what, what's going on? This isn't like nondescript clearance stuff that we're that, that we're showing here. These are brand. This is a brand new product, and it's in a Black Friday continued sale at seven ninety five. Beverly says, Carol, calm down. Just show us the beautiful gems, etc. Keep us laughing with your fab jokes and singing. Don't worry <coughs> about the pricing. So, hey, hey. <laughs> These aren't my prices. I'm, I'm not taking the blame for any of this. I know it's my name. I'm, I'm not sitting there with the buttons going, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a fantastic deal on these. Yeah. They're brand new. Uh, let's destroy the prices of them all. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing the prices on these. It's Dion. Dion Brewster, find her on Facebook. There you are. Get her. Do it. Jam producer Dion. D I O N N E. Jam producer Dion. Or well, you can join my page if you like. I put up amusing pictures of dogs. <laughs> Honestly, Dion's page is much better. Carol, C R O L, as in Carol, as in Christmas Carol. Uh, uh, Roach, R O A C H E. Weird name. I oh, know, don't even ask. It's Irish, I think. I don't know. It's a weird name, isn't it? Roach. Roach. Uh, anyway, uh, 22 chances left, everyone. Uh, well, these are just going to be out the door even before they even started. Poor little findings. I feel sorry for them. And they're all excited. They turn up in the country like, oh, my goodness, we were going to get played on jewelry making. This is so exciting. So exciting. They're bought to air. Dion trashes the price. They sell out. That's the last you ever see of them. Poor things. Honestly, I work with gemstones and finding so much. I, I honestly start to believe they're real people. Right, okay. Uh, which one? Which box? Oh, dear me. <laughs> Clamshell findings. Right, Linda. Linda! Yeah. Clamshell findings. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about them. Let me have a look. Excuse me, I'm just have a, can I have a nose? Have you used these before, actually? Yes, 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 I have. Um, right, they're... That's it. <laughs> I'll go back and talk to them about them. Yeah, go on, I'll um, do it over there, probably. They are very, very similar to a crimp bead cover, mm. right? But you can pop the crimp inside and clamp it down with a thread but you've also got your sort of jump ring yeah so you can use them um in in lots and lots of ways you can actually pop another jump ring onto that jump ring finding yeah but it it, it will give you uh, that neater finish again but you've also got the opportunity there 
to thread onto. To add a jump ring. Yeah. And also, my, my understanding is, is that sometimes you don't even need a crimp bead. You can just put a knot through it. You can. You can put that exactly. That, 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 that's what I was coming to next. If you're doing something like um, perhaps knotting pearls or something. Yes. That would be the ideal. Um, Sort of finding to use for the clasp then because if you if you do use it and knot it inside that little clamshell then mm. glue the knot and then clamp it down ah. so that the knot doesn't have any maneuverability whatsoever yes. inside these are 925 sterling silver by the way everyone uh, which is great on a number of different levels great of course because it's precious metal fantastic um, as well because um, uh, it's going to mean that these are very very pliable very soft but also very strong that is just scaring the living daylights out of me seeing Black Friday continued plasmas behind all of these deals. It really is ridiculous. Okay, here's your prize point. £6.95p for precious wow. metal. Honestly, these deals are just wonderful. 50 of these. So you'd be able to finish off 25 necklaces or 25 bracelets with these. They're absolutely lovely and they are really, really useful, especially with some of your finer threads, like your Eslon threads, um, especially if you're going to be using those with pearls. I mean, Linda suggested using it with um, knotted pearl pieces, which is absolute, you know, it, 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 is, it is one of the best ways um, to use these gorgeous um, finers because, of course, they are 95 sterling silver and they are specifically designed for your more delicate threads, so your Eslon threads or even your monofilament if you want to use it with your monofilament as well. Um, but the, uh, you're going to be getting 50 here, okay? So if you are into making your pearl pieces, if you are into making your finer pieces of jewellery with your finer gemstones, maybe some of your big five gemstones such as tanzanite, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, diamonds, uh, then, then absolutely use these incredible clamshell uh, findings because they are 95 selling silver and they're specifically designed for use with kind of thinner threading materials. Really, really lovely. You can tell they're silver, goodness me. Gorgeous. Uh, what in eight? Yeah, lovely. Okay, so I've got exactly the same here in yellow gold plated silver. They really are lovely. You could, I mean, you could if you want to. You could take the, um, you could take the little eyelet off if you wanted to and just make them into little space beads. I mean, you can do that if you want to. What? Oh, I don't know. I probably, I, I tend to use crimp bead covers for that. Um, but you could do if you wanted to. Really, really lovely, lovely finding, aren't they? So you literally pop your knot in, in the middle there or your crimp bead in there that's been crimped. You close the clamshell cover just like you would a crimp bead cover. And it's done and it's nice and safe and secure. As Linda quite rightly says, if you are going to be putting a knot directly in there, do make sure that you glue the knot in there um, uh, before you close it, just so the uh, knot isn't going to be untying. It's not going to be able to move around in there. Um, but if you do use a lot of Eslon thread, if you do use a lot of the finer threads, then absolutely fantastic. Um, I wonder if Jan uses these, one of our guest designers who does a lot of pearl pieces and some quite classic pearl pieces where I'm sure that she knots in between the pearl. I'm sure I've heard her say that she knots in between the pearls. Um, you could, uh, yeah, you could even on a on a knotted pearl piece of jewelry. You know, if you're knotting in between each one of the pearls, you could put these little clamshell covers and suspend other gemstones or some chain from them. That I mean, that would look great, wouldn't it? Lovely. So again, 50 in total and 6.95. Again, a fantastic deal for you today for yellow gold plated cop. Uh, sorry, yellow gold plated 95 sterling silver clamshell beads here. So exactly the same as the silver ones, but these are just yellow gold plated instead. They're lovely. Lots of you multi buying this deal today. These are all just great little findings that could just make the difference to your jewellery, aren't they, Linda? Yes, exactly. It's it's almost the things that you overlook that can be the most um, yeah. useful, to yeah. be truthful. Yeah. Absolutely. Loads and loads and loads of you making this yours today. Well done. We're going to move on just purely because of time. Uh, mm -hmm. Details for the silver ones are at the bottom are at the bottom of your screen there. So if you do want to add the silver ones onto your order, then go for it. Um, details are on, on top of your screen for the yellow gold plated 95 selling silver ones there. Well done. Lots and lots and lots of people still coming through for those. Well done. Right, okay. What, these head pins? Oh, wow. Are these heart shaped ones? Ah, oh, they are! Only 50 chances available here. Let's pop one of these on the lapis bead that I've got here. <gasps> oh, wow, they're so cute. Look at these. Look! Beautiful little heart shaped head pins, heart topped head pins. Oh, my word, they're gorgeous. Oh, they're so sweet. You're getting a pack of 100 of these. Oh, look at the little heart shape. They're so cute. That's a proper heart shape, isn't it? Ah, 100 in total, gold plated <laughs> copper head pins here. Now, again, these are 50 millimetres in diameter, so, sorry, in length. So you can 
use half one, a half of one of the hairpins, especially if you're going to be using it with some of the smaller gemstones that we have here on JM, and then use the other bits to make a, an eye pin out of, you know, or a link out of. It's entirely up to you. So gorgeous, gorgeous quality here with the little hearts on top. All yellow gold plated uh, copper, 100 in total, 6.95. Well done, everyone. Again, that would be lovely on the necklace that you made, uh, the bubble it necklace. It would also, yes, it would be fantastic. But also, you can, with your flat nose pliers, just flick the heart. So you've got your heart standing underneath. Oh, so lovely. that that will be a cap, basically, as such. So you've got all your gems on the stick of the head pin, and then using, um, you, you can just. Can you, you just alter the plane of it? Yeah, there. So that it's then it's, and you've got your gemstones above it. So instead of being like that, yeah. it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, easy, simple. There you are. So instead of being like that, you, you've got them like that. I've just done them with a pair of tweezers, by the way, not even with round nose pliers, yeah, just you so you know. Yeah, just make it nice, done nice. So I've been a bit of a, a, bit that, of a hash that. then that. looks fantastic on a on chain, randomly, yeah, like, random lovely. lengths. Oh, definitely. Well done, everyone. So, a hundred of your of your uh, heart top head pins, yellow gold plated copper. Gorgeous. Okay. Challenge, challenge, Linda. Okay. Oh, blimey. Right. Okay. How have you got on with your lapis? Fabulous. I love it. I, I do like to make mm. jewellery occasionally uh -huh. just from one stone. Mm. And it's nice to have one stone but with varying shapes in it. And I think it really, really works. Doesn't it just? Love, it looks lovely with the yellow gold. It mm. really does. Oh, we gave Linda three strands of lapis lazuli. We gave her lapis lazuli rice bees, lapis lazuli rectangles, and lapis lazuli stars. Stars using this design here. That's, uh, that was the first piece that you made, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. it was. It's so yeah. sweet, Linda. It just as I say, it makes, makes just it's just oh, really nice. ladder weave that, and then as I say, you can make with those heart head pins would be fantastic. Having mm. the heart dropping at, at the base Definitely. there, you could because continue that up the are. Yeah, they look great oh. on that chain, don't they? Yeah. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? So simple. Just using two gemstones, a bit of chain, and your earring findings. Lovely little stretchy there. Mm -hmm. Awesome um, charm bracelet there. Dion's just saying, right, I'm having all of those blue. <laughs> <laughs> We've used the little heart head pins there. Yes, yes, ah, I have. Ah, yeah. cute. Yeah, there they are, yeah, because that's just sort of the right angle to see them at. But then if you're having them on a necklace, you might want to just turn it so it's dropping yeah. down. Makes a lovely little feature, a lovely little charm, uh, rosary ring style earrings there. I love the use of it with the uh, with the pirate there. That yeah, the wonderful. tiny little pirate. Yeah. Just the spaces. Gorgeous. So fourteen ninety five for your gorgeous and luxurious lapis bundle there. Lots of you with this in your baskets. Please check your baskets out because it is limited, limited, limited in stock. Um, when are you next with us, Linda? Um, workshop Wednesday. Back next Sunday. Morning. Oh, fantastic! I'm next with you on Wednesday. Um, I don't know who we've got on Wednesday. I know we've got thurs Thursday. We've got Sarah Elvin with us on Thursday. Who's with us now? It's lovely Michelle, isn't it? With who's with us? Is it Beck? Is it Jenny or yes, Becky? Becky, fantastic. So we've got Becky with us uh, now. I know because I saw Vicky Carr earlier on. I thought is it Vicky or is it Becky? So we've got lovely Becky with us now uh, with uh, Michelle as well, which is going to be an absolutely fantastic show. Linda, you've been well. You've okay. You've been okay today. <laughs> I think she's amazing isn't you've been she? brilliant Come have on. I you've I love it she's loving you I love yeah, she should do stand up shouldn't she I don't know why I'm standing up right now yeah and believe it or not uh, Linda's also standing up as well even though she looks so much shorter than I am <laughs> how tall are you I used to be 5'6 I think I'm 5'4 and a bit now oh god I love her Sarah from Cheshire says great show ladies amazing designs yeah absolutely amazing designs thanks a lot guys and uh, do you know what uh, you've got to stay tuned now for the designer inspiration show because we do have even more Black Friday, continue deals. See you in a bit, guys. Take care. Bye.